Greetings, everyone, and welcome back, Destroyers, to Bendy in the Ink Machine. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you amazing people for stopping by today, tonight. And as always, remember that we are destruction. Wahoo! Without further ado, I think we finally finish off Bendy and the Ink Machine. Yes, yes, yes. But you know what? I, I think we need to start all over again, which I'm okay with. Just because I, I thought this was supposed to be a scary game, but I realize it's more of a story game. Which, hey, you know, I love my story games. So if I got to give this game a fair shot, then I think we should start from the beginning. That way we can try to learn the most about the story in that way. So, um, yeah, um, let's just hope it doesn't take us three hours to get back to Chapter 3, right? So let's just start a new game. Let's have a good time, and uh, I thank each and every one of you for stopping by, right? Let me just fix a couple things, and yes, thank you very much for that before. I'm going to pin that. And there's a Kona, and yes, uh, Daniel McGee, I hope you get better sooner, right? Being sick sucks! Dear Henry, it seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. Your best pal, Joey Drew. I will say, I will say it's weird. So it's 30 years after, like, I guess, Henry and Joey work together making these, like, black and white cartoons. But, like, have have has color been introduced into this world yet? Like, I, I need to know the world building of this world, like... Are the rest of the cartoons still black and white? Or do they have color now? Like, we don't know. All that, right, that's... Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Oh, we'll do our best. New objective. Discovers Joey's secret. Tip search workshop. Okay. If anything, I will say I didn't really catch on to that. Um, I'll do my best not to get too distracted so then I can pay attention to the story so then the fans won't destroy me over this game, right? Funny enough, um, so the the sequel to this game, or whatever you want to call it, reboot, remake, Bendy and the Dark Revival, is also on sale! So, um, if we're lucky, I might be able to, uh, play that tomorrow for you guys. But yeah, some things I will say I hope gets addressed in the, in the sequel. I, I won't talk about, I won't make fun about how not scary this game is, but I will talk about gameplay things that I don't like, and number one is... Items you can interact with only highlight when you get close to them like that. And then sometimes doors won't even highlight at all, so it's like, you, you, you just, it's just, it's just random if uh, you'll be able to interact with the items around you or not, right? So now you livestream Bendy, YouTuber started playing a remake of the first chapter. Hey, let's go. There's a new horror game out. Which one? What is it? Hey, here's my old desk. I've wasted so much time in this chair. Looks like they knocked out a wall or two after I left. Guess it took a few people to replace me. Damn, this guy's full of himself. The real question is, can I start grabbing items already? Or No, you can only start grabbing items once you make it to uh, that altar room, right? Okay, let's go over there. Hey there, Funtime 101 Gamer. How you doing? It's funny, because it just drops you into this world, like, you, you don't know if this is how the rest of the world looks like, or if you did get put into a cartoon world. But I guess if you read the synopsis of this game before you play it, it kind of spoils that it does your normal human put into a cartoon world, and... No, no offense to the voice actor that portrays this character, but it just doesn't really come across as if we're in, in a cartoon world, right? Like, if, if we were a normal human put into the cartoon world of, like, Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, you, you would be like, yo, what's going on, right? But th this character's kind of like, yo, there's my old room. It's like they uh, hired some more people. It's like, you're, you're not phased by anything that's happening around you. Gonna play some Xbox? Hey, have a great time with the X. Uh, this lift could use a few dry cells. Mm, 
else. So we'll see if we can do like a speed run. Oh, okay, look at that. It tells you to interact with that. Only this though. There we go, we got two. Oh no, those. Let's see what you're hiding down there, old friend. Your PS4 is fixed! Hey! Let's go! It'll be amazing when we get to team up for some games, but at least you'll be able to play uh, your own games now, right? Like Monster Hunter! Always a great idea, you know? Like, uh, there, there's a dark hole with a chain attached to it, always gotta raise it up. It's not gonna, like, cause a problem, is it? Also, I could be wrong, but I don't know what you actually get down here. Other than a save point. I better get overtime for this. Oh, we gotta get the book, don't we? Well, that's the, you see, that's why I didn't grab the book last time, because the first time you come down here, it's not glowing. The items you gotta pick up don't glow until you make it into the altar room. This games are corrupted, oh my gosh. Ooh, what you get? Oh, I just realized that shutter was closed before, but now it's open when you uh, turn on the machine. Okay. You see, I was just getting lost the last time. It's pretty easy to distract me. Uh, Titanfall 1 never came on PlayStation 7. At this point, I don't get what Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I simply don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had each one of us donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room to help appease the gods, Joey said. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind, but hey, he writes the checks. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes burst, I'm out of here. I'm out of here, right? I mean, he does have a point. It is funny that when you think about it, the whole, like, lore of this game is just Satanism. Let's, let's just, let's just do a dark ritual to the devil! And, uh... Then our ink um, cartoons are gonna make lots of money, right? This is the full game, or just parts of each video? Hey there, Captain DJ. Um, no, I'm playing the full game today. So I'm gonna speed run, quote unquote, the first three chapters that we already did, and then uh, everything past that will be new to me. We're doing this so I try to remember everything that I missed out on in the first uh, three chapters. So chapter one, um, you get an invitation by your old boss to come to the old studio. And um, you arrive at the old studio and it's uh, kind of messed up. Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? I'm out of here. I, I actually made that joke uh, <laughs> on the last stream, Desco. I'm like, yo, it's Sonic CD. All right, how do I get this to work? That'll be five hours, depending on how fast a person is. That's so funny because every playthrough I see of this game is like two or three hours. Okay, so I guess the objects don't like pop up until after you um, go into that room. Here? Gotta find the MacGuffins. Now, if only you could run faster, right? Oh, 
Oh, we come back to it later. I like how you don't even have an inventory system so you can't see like what items you have. But I know I have two of them. Got the wrench and the doll, so now we need um, four more item other items, right? Book, gear, music, and uh, gank. I think we start all the way at our desk and then come back over here, we should get every other item. And no problem at all, if anything, uh, very sorry that I, I uh, won't be able to finish the whole game for you. But, uh... As long as I don't get angry on stream, I'll keep the VOD up on uh, on the YouTube so you can watch it whenever you want, right? That's another reason, too. I don't want people to watch the other one and be like, Bruh, did he really spend, like, two hours on level one? Yes. Yes. Yep, round two overall game, so let's, uh... Let's see if we can have a better time this time than the last one, right? Nevertheless, even if I hate this game, I'm still gonna get number two because I'm an idiot. And we'll see if that one um, can fix some of the issues that I had with this game. And if it doesn't, then you know what? Maybe I might just not be a Bendy fan. I will, no matter what, I will say the character designs are cool, cute, and sometimes spooky. But, uh... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we got the ink, we got the music, so now we just need two more items. The book which should be downstairs, and then something else I can't remember. Boris in the Dark Arrival? There we go. Like, what's the point of these save spots, Always if you really time. think about it? Like, when you die, you just respawn so like I actually don't know what's the purpose of those save points maybe, maybe they'll be more useful later in the game okay yeah, that's all here. of course well to be fair all the best games are only on PC only right switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. New objective, restore ink pressure. Tip, locate the pressure valve. All right, I just hope everyone's having an amazing Wednesday day or night. If you're watching this in the future, hi there future people. Hope, uh, hope the weather's good over there. And hopefully by the time, uh, any of uh, the future people watch this, um, I'll have a playthrough of the Dark Revival on my channel. I see, it's only a walking simulator when you don't know what you're doing. As soon as you know everything, it becomes a speedrun simulator. New objective, escape the workshop. See, this is how you're actually supposed to do this section now. You're not supposed to do what I did last time, which was, uh, see if the game kills you, which I uh, doesn't. Drain the ink, find and turn the back.
I don't know, what I'm wondering is how Joey Drew got the machine. Like, did he just meet the devil one day and Joey's like, bro, I'll sell you my soul to be able to make, like, the best cartoons ever. And the devil's like, well, like, I have this machine over here. To be fair, I guess most, if not all, indie horror games are kind of in the realm of supernatural. Which I'm okay with. It just it kind of feels like a cop out when it's just like, oh, it's the demons. That 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 that, that explains everything. It's like I guess. And so I'm kind of glad that, even though it could have easily gone that way, FNAF never went into that area. It's mostly about ghosts. Actually. My ankle, right? Your 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 human character in this cartoon world doesn't really seem to be affected by large drops. Very interesting. Now, if we were a cartoon character in a cartoon world, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, we can survive that fall normally. But you gotta remember, we're a normal human being in this world. And it just doesn't feel that way at all. One with the voice acting, and two with the this things that happen around us. Handy. There we go. That should be a trophy right there. Destroy the wood. If anything, is it too dark for you guys? Let me know. I kept everything on default, but I feel like 50 brightness is just too dark. Uh, this isn't me trying to be like, oh, it's scary. Let's turn off the brightness. No, 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 like it's more so for you guys. If you can't see jack shit, then let me know. If you guys want me to play like this, then I mean. You're, you're gonna have to deal with it. Oh my god, Joey Drew sacrifices like studio members and then turn them into cartoons via the power of the devil. That's scary. Okay, not bad. 18 minutes for chapter one, not bad. Oh my head. What happened? Oh, so it's weird how it's not well, blood around the screen when you get hurt, it's black ink. Press on. See if I can find a way out. I don't know if that's to avoid like a higher censorship rating. See, if our character was a cartoon, it would make sense why you have ink around the screen when it, you start to get hurt, right? Although I guess someone could say, oh no, that's the ink creatures hurting you, so that's why the screen's going all inky. You all set us free. How did this place get so big? He appears from the shadows to rain his sweet blessings upon me. The figure of ink that shines in the darkness. I see you, my son. Oh, well, if it looks good for you, then that's all can that matters. I get an amen? See, they slow you down here, so you can't just, like, me, go where this goes. Me? Where the hell did he go? That's going to be an annoying trophy to get later. Eat the beans! There we go. I mean, I don't know much about Sammy Lawrence as a character, but I mean, his voice is good. It's kind of creepy. For me, it looks perfectly unlike the other washed out. Oh my god, bro. You got to stop with that. You're the only one that keeps on annoying me with that. Should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe that playthrough has been on my channel for like two plus years, and no one has ever said that 
those settings are bad. You just hate the fact that uh, you played it in the dark while I played it uh, normally. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I missed out what we gotta do. What, we gotta flip the switches now? Yeah, there we go. It's funny because when I rewatched my um, RE4 remake uh, demo playthrough, I, I even made sure the third playthrough was on default settings because uh, Desco wanted to see how it would look like. And after we finished it, we're like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same but darker, so it's hard to see shit. Therefore, not scary. The cans you're collecting are bacon soup? Oh, okay, bacon soup. That's actually better. Bacon soup mixed with ink! Was it just a two? Oh no, there we go. Which I will say it does work for RE2 and 3 Remake considering they're zombies, so them looking pale as shit is okay. There we go. Chicken soup for the soul. It's really dark in here. So first, Joey installs this ink machine over our heads. Then it begins to leak. Three times last month, we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell. Joey's solution. An ink pump to drain it periodically. Now I have this ugly pump switch right in my office. People in and out all day. Thanks, Joey. Just what I needed. More distractions. These stupid cartoon songs don't write themselves, you know? Yeah, I mean, you can always leave whenever you want to, though. You don't have to work at this hellhole. Okay, so this note actually told you how to do this puzzle. I've got half a mind to talk to Mr. Drew about all this, I really do. But then again, I have to admit, Mr. Drew's got his own peculiarities. See, it's, it's easier to understand how to play the game once you just focus on the game, right? Now, I will say no other note up to this point actually told Looks us like what to do, well so... Flooded. I will say that's some here. BS. I need to find a way to drain it. Hey there, Tebow. Ain't no problem at all, right? I'm gonna say hello back to you and that you enjoy the rest of your amazing day, all right? I'm gonna do my best to enjoy this game because uh, now I know it's more story focused than gameplay, so that way I can focus more on the story. Right? I'm assuming these guys are uh, other people that work at the studio that turn into these blob monsters. What? Okay, maybe sometimes it does take more than one swing. Last time it only took one swing to kill all these guys. I was gonna say... There must be some type of super ritual to actually make them into a cartoon character, right? And not into just a blobby guy. Like, you see, if our character was human, or if... I should probably be the character that we're playing as. Who are we again? Henry? Like, if our character was actually human, I'd be like, yo, what the hell was that? What did I just fight? But no, our character's kind of just like, eh, slash. This is fun. Like, 
and like I said, it's not the voice actor's fault. It's more so the direction of the voice acting, or the script entirely. Because like your character's just nonchalantly chilling around, and it's kind of weird. It makes Gregory feel more human than this character. Pentagram equals curse. Pentagram equals devil, which I guess you can say is curse. Also, do you even get anything from playing pool here, or is it just a, a mini game to distract you? Probably. Also, it already went off, so we lost. So that's open now. We need the key down here to be able to open up a door behind us. This is a flood. Or it's flooded. It's open. Ghost. I remember the keys were in like a basket or something, right? More bacon soup. To the old grind. Yeah, you have a better night, all right? I'd like his catchphrase. Punching in. I was like, okay, like, that makes more sense. The keys uh, are found in the garbage can because of uh, the note that you read. Makes sense, makes sense. Now, I will say it's BS that uh, that note only, uh, or the keys only spawn in once you uh, interact with that tape, but hey, you know, that's okay. That's okay. I was gonna say, I thought they spawned there. Smack. Watch, it's random. They can actually just spawn in one of the random trash cans you will pass by. <gasps> I probably passed it, didn't I? Yeah, this is where we started the game. Oh, well. Now, well, the real question is, do you think they already had the story, like, figured out from the first episode or they just made it up as game theory made his theories <laughs> that's the real question oh, of course it's right there the one that I didn't check Hey, have fun with your Vita, right? Alright, and I mean, heck, even uh, FNAF is kind of guilty of that as well. The story would probably have ended with a dream theory on 4 if it wasn't for uh, 
with the ends. I hope so too. If not, then I'll at least enjoy uh, completing it and getting the Platinum Trophy. But I'm starting to see how this, the structure of this game is. So you explore, you find the items you gotta find to be able to continue to the next part, right? I know someone could be like, yeah, isn't that every game ever? Yeah, but this one's different where I guess to be able to progress, you gotta make sure you see what's in this room, right? What's in this room? It's a note. And it's like, well, we've been seeing notes all over the place, right? But no, this note is important because it tells you what you gotta do next. The last note told us we gotta look at the garbage cans, right? Every artistic person needs a sanctuary. Joey Drew has his, and I've got mine. To enter, you need only know my favorite song. The banjo playfully plucks. The violin shudders with a piercing voice. The bass fiddle sings with deep articulation. The banjo, once again, strums its melody. Sing my song. And my sanctuary. Does it change every time you play? Banjo, violin, bass, banjo? Another day, another dollar. I know there's something I've got to do in here, but I feel like I'm missing something. Banjo, violin... Base. Also, I forgot to put the thing. And you know what? That actually would be a better way to describe this game. Which, nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, that also doesn't take away from anyone that actually got scared playing this game, right? Like, and I think you'll see where I'm going with this, but I would even, I would... Let me see what you read first so people know what we're talking about. I find this more of a puzzle game than hard, to be honest. It has its hard aspects, but the puzzles is the main gameplay loop, and you're not wrong about that. And funny enough, that's what I was gonna like describe Resident Evil. Because if you think about it, like some people will say they got scared by it. I don't know which idiot would get scared by Resident Evil, but when you actually play it, it's more about the puzzles and figure out like how you interact with certain situations than it is about like the scary, spooky monsters, right? So, but uh, like I said, it doesn't take away from a kid playing this or even RE and being like, "Yo, I got scared." So, I can see how it can be scary, but. When you remove that aspect from it, if it even affects you in that way, then yeah, you'll be like, yeah, this is just more just a, a puzzle. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, at least for me, I kept on hearing uh, great things about this game because of uh, the horror aspect of it, right? Also, I screwed up. Oh, sorry, I swear, it was banjo, violin, drum, and banjo again. Banjo violin. Joey Drew has his, and I've got mine. Bass banjo. To enter, you need only know my favorite song. The banjo playfully clucks. Which is why I'm very interested to try out the sequel, because, you know, I'm very much not liking the whole... Uh, shit, that's too much. There we go. How dark it's making me look. Damn it. There we go, cool. That's why I'm hoping uh, when we play The Dark Revival, it goes either for more gameplay or more horror. I mean, looking at the cover, it looks more horror-esque, but... Hey, never judge a book by its cover, right? I will say I don't know my instrument, so maybe I'm not pressing the button.
Tell me we're gonna be stuck here again. Banjo violin is banjo. Always on time. Also, you gotta make sure you turn on the projector as well. So which is the, which one's the violin? The one in the corner or the one on the chair? instead of the drum. Cool. I learned today that um, bass is not a drum. Is it is it a good or a bad thing uh, that as soon as you pluck like a banjo strum or string, the first thing I think of is like someone's gonna start playing the Last of Us theme song. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, well, I guess I can't have coffee right now. Oh no! Walk slowly backwards while you slice. What a concept. Oh. It sounded like they really like it. Creepy. I'm like, what is still making that noise? Also, I guess I didn't press the or turn the valve to shut down the ink, huh? Happy song, whistle, merry tune. Wait for his arrival. He's coming very soon. The real question is, did we turn off the ink down here or to the right? Uh, to the right? Find the second valve? Okay, interesting. Back to the old grind. Hey there, magic guy. How you doing? Where the hell would the second valve be? The only place I can think of is like backtracking all the way back. But even then, like, why would it be there? Oh, time to backtrack for a bit. Like, why would they place enemies back here unless you're not supposed to be here, right? Maybe uh, you're not supposed to be back here. Yeah, no. Am 
Maybe it was in that pool table room. That is probably the weirdest room in this whole music studio. Just because there's nothing in there. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, I think there was a left path that uh, went downstairs that had a bunch of ink, so... Unless uh, we can go down there now, that, that's probably where we gotta go, right? Down here? There we go. Oh. Can't even play music while I'm killing? Sad face. Oh no, there's no valve. Where did it go? Sinners. Uh, oh, the hat boss. My valve? The sheep will come to slaughter. I love the quiet. And that's hard to come by in these busy times. And yeah, sure, it, it may stink to high heaven down here. But it's just perfect for an old lyricist like me. Sammy's songs always got some bounce, but uh, if I didn't get away once in a while, they'd never have any words to go with them. So I'll keep my mind to singing and uh, my nose closed. Okay, so that's who uh, we're fighting. We're fighting the lyricist that would be in the basement, I guess? Kind of funny. The real question is, why doesn't he want us to, like, get the items, right? Like, is he preventing us from helping Bendy complete his evil plan? Or does he really hate Sammy Lawrence so much he just doesn't want us to play his song? It's probably the latter. Okay, so he can't just insta-kill him. Pull it up, then you gotta move him, and then once he appears here, then you destroy him. Well, I was gonna say how this uh, crate just destroyed the ink blob creature that's surrounded by ink, but I guess it's the same reason that the uh, hatchet would, right? So. There we go. We killed you. That's Sorry, what you get. I had to do that. Nice hat, though. Nice hat, though. You see, if I was an asshole, I would say this was this game probably has the worst like voice acting of all time. But I grew up with uh, games with even worse voice acting, so I, I usually don't uh, use that as a point of uh, criticism. I will say though, the the voice direction is not good at all. Though it doesn't make me feel like I'm a human trying to survive against cartoon creatures, but he's having the time of his life here. Okay, that should do it. Chapter two, that. Hit me with a dust pan. There we go now, nice and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? No, we wouldn't. Put me on a pentagram. I must admit, I am honored you came all the way down here to visit me. It almost makes what I'm about to do seem cruel. But the believers must honor their savior. I must have him notice me. Wait, you look familiar to me. That face. Not now, 
For our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. The time of sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison. This inky, dark abyss I call a body. Shh. Quiet. Listen. I can hear him crawling above. Crawling. Let us begin. The ritual must be completed. It must be. I'll say something. Soon, soon he will hear me. He will set us free. You know what's funny? I think uh, you said on the last stream before that it was funny because Sammy was too, was being like very expressive with his movements and shit. So it was kind of hard to take it seriously. I'd actually go on the opposite end and say he didn't go expressive enough. Like, if this is supposed to be, like, old-timey cartoons, you would think he would be actually being a bit more expressive since he is a cartoon ink monster creature, but he's just going like this. It's like, no, you got to be, like, like over dramatic and shit, right? I don't know. He's not cartoon enough for me. You got to go full, um... What's the villain in Roger Rabbit? And ten times out of ten, the person that's trying to worship the monster dies to the monster. Isn't it beautiful? So now the the fight music that they use is hilarious. You would think they would have like some type of uh, old timey music that would fit with what with what you're doing, but this sounds like I don't know something that we hear out of like a modern scary game. It's like Leon running away from the boulder music. I'm take I'm talking from a human perspective as his demeanor is a human, so it's off. That he sounds like a cartoon character, but expressive. Yeah. His expressions are human, while his while his voice and uh, demeanor is cartoonish. It, it just doesn't work. Which would it? Which would would be like a? That's okay if like we were in a non-cartoon world, but because we are in a cartoon world, it just makes it go. Okay, what are they going for, right? Doesn't help we can't see our character, so like I said, if you didn't have that synopsis that we are human in this cartoon world, we would just be like, okay, wait, why does everyone have beef with us? Also, the weakest axe of all time if it breaks after this. You said it better? Okay. It's just funny that we both came to the same conclusion, though. <laughs> So not taking away from anyone that enjoys this game. I'm just trying to enjoy it the same way as the people do. You know what I love? That it gets so dark that you can't see where the hell you're going. But I think I saw exactly where we gotta go afterwards. Now we're good. I will say it does... It, it is some shit that Nun Massacre is technically a harder game than this, because you do have a life system in that game. I may have gone the wrong way. So I don't even know what the hell got me there. Okay, so the game just wants me to go to the left.
Aha, uh -huh. dumbass ink demon. You can't go underneath. Try setting your brightness to 80%. That might be too much. Well, we've already been putting it at default. Might as well just keep on going at this point. Bro, you can't be like, oh, it looks good, and then 10 minutes later be like, actually, maybe you might have been right. I can use a trophy to, like, interact with one five times, but I'll deal with that later. Hello? There's someone there? I know you're in here. Come out and show yourself. Just weird ways to end the chapters. Like, if, if you're playing this as a normal video game, it's just a weird way to end the chapter. But then when you realize, oh, th these were like ep episodic releases, and it would end that way, that way people can make their videos, it starts to make a lot more sense why it just ends the way it does. I can only imagine people back then being like, oh my gosh, it's goofy. And then you make their videos until the part three comes out 20 years later. Also, Sammy is the most creepiest slash weirdest cultist I have ever met. I think you should meet someone named Lord Sadler. He actually has something going for him. Or literally any of the characters from Dead Space. I'm not saying Sammy Lawrence is in original, but I've seen his uh, character in many Dead Space games and done way better than what you saw here. getting out of here that easy. Need to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Hey, buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. Obviously to each their own, but I don't know, I just grew up playing many different types of games where like evil cultists were the main villains and it was more than just, I'm a bad guy and I'm gonna worship this demon creature thing. In fact, I will say Sammy has been the most character in this game, but as soon as he starts becoming interesting, he dies. So like, oh, oh okay, I, I guess that storyline's... Um, Done and over with. Sorry, I already forgot what this guy likes. I have to get like. It was in the pot, that's for sure. Got the spoon? Bro, where's your food? That should be enough. So the items you've been grabbing before that are just there in the background are now actually needed to make the food. Okay. I love that this game changes its rules every other chapter. Here you go. Oh, 
I like how he hit her right away. Let's see what's out there. Don't wander off. Also, I can't think of many other kids' games that would have, like, demonic rituals going on as its main setting. Maybe Cult of the Lamb? Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Don't be scared, Boris. The real question is, do I gotta go slowly with uh, Boris, or can we just, like, run through this? Oh my gosh, noises! Did you hear that? No. Yeah, me either. Shut up. Worst lamp of all time. Bro, this guy did not get stuck. Oh my gosh, Boris. They just did this to screw with the speedrunners, didn't they? Dead end. I don't see any other way through. You got any ideas for us? Yeah, of course the vents can just do that. It's the Bioshock moment. Like a in? giant statue, music swans. Like, yo, what is this? Why is there always something blocking the door? Gotta be a way through. Where's the switch? Oh, there we go. Need power for the switch? Okay. Heavenly Toys entrance lobby reminds me of what a dark Alice in Wonderland would be like. There already is a dark uh, Alice in Wonderland, though. I believe it's, I believe it's called Alice in Madness. Um, yeah, it's a dark uh, horror version of the Alice in Wonderland story. And I think there might be two or three games in the series. The last one came out on 360 PS3, made by EA, and then it never uh, got a, another one ever again afterwards. Had. Although, if you just want to watch a Alice in Wonderland horror movie, just watch the sequel. I think it's called Alice Returns to Wonderland, which is not a kid's movie, that's for sure. Alice 
Alice Matter Returns? Okay, there we go. Gosh. I was probably spooky back in the day. A new fly in my endless web. Come along now. Let's see if you're worthy to walk with angels. All the Alice Angel toys are gone. Gotta find out where those hidey spots are. Gotta be ready for when we interact with the ink demon, which I will say, um, well, we got to chapter three in one hour, so that's not bad compared to getting there three hours last time, so. There's also a chapter that I was starting to enjoy the game a bit more because Boris, it became something of hide and seek. scaring me to death. Don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. This will do. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, what's your guys' opinions on the main character's voice? Not the voice actor themselves. They, they, they got paid to do the job that you're hearing, but this voice just not does not fit the character. Like, I actually would have been better... It would have been better off if there was no voice actor for this character at all. I hope you don't have something we can protect ourselves with. Yeah, I, I guess we'll take that. But he's more shy than I am. Looks like to open this, we need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. Bro, don't even, don't even disrespect Case voice acting, because at least that shit's fucking hilarious. That shit tries to be like PS1 voice acting, so it makes you laugh. Hmm, one in, one of these days they're gonna be using this to call, call for delivery pizzas or some shit like that. When uh, you interact with the iPod, this guy's just like, huh, maybe, maybe we gotta pull this lever so then we can like open up this door. Hi Boris, you, you have something we can like defend ourselves with? You do? Thank you. You know, I, I'll be the voice actor for today. So we're gonna walk down this long hallway, and maybe we might see something. And if we do, well, we're not gonna have a reaction to it because that that would mean we would have to have a human emotion to have a reaction. All right, let's go over this again. If the pressure goes over 45, I screw with the safety bolt and tighten it, right? No, for the last time you do that, you blow every pipe in this place. If it reaches 45, you unhook the safety switch. You sure? You know, this sounds harder to compare an earwax to beeswax. Look, it's not that difficult. Just keep an eye on the cage. Look, pal, if you think I'm doing my job and yours, I'm out of here. Okay, so far I will say Wally's probably my favorite character in this whole entire game. He's the only one that, that, that knows the mission. 
He's like, oh, okay, I gotta be, like, a 1920s, like, voice actor, or, like, character? I can be that. And he's going with it. He's going with it. It's okay for what it is. There's some lines that could be improved than others. But it could potentially good it. Well, I mean, I'm not talking about the new Bendy game, but we're talking about this game right now. If the new Bendy game has good voice acting, good. That game came out, like, five years after this one, and it has more money behind it, so it should have it. It's just funny when, like, you overall games will, like, say how bad the voice acting is in, like, Ban Ban. But then this is okay. That, that, that's what I'm trying to point out. And there's Slim. How you doing? Oh, but that's different, because that game was made by, like, two people, while this game was made by more people. Oh, it almost got me. I will say that it almost got me. I'm not trying to be right, I'm just calling it the way I see it. That's why I don't like talk crap about voice actors and stuff, because I mean, I wouldn't be able to be a good voice actor myself. But when someone's like, yo, this game sucks because of this voice acting, and then they praise this other game that has just as equally bad voice acting, if not worse, I go, hmm, I think you just like this one because it makes you happy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to call it out. This game is amazing. It has a, an amazing world that um, I've never seen in another video game, that's for sure. Like, the only other video game I've seen go into, like, this art style, funny enough, is Kingdom Hearts 2. And it's the level where you go into, funny enough, the Steamboat Willy world. But that's obviously more black and white and in that, like, rubber hose animation compared to this, right? And the sequel's way better, which I have been hearing a lot, and that's uh, making me very excited to try it out, not gonna lie. So, the thing is, like, I can see potential for this game. And if that potential is unleashed in, um, in the sequel, then I'm gonna have a great time with it. Uh, we're, we're getting to the part where I got stuck on, on Chapter 3, so... We're gonna try to do our best, and then try and finish the game, alright? Yes and no, bro. If, if anything, you just... And everyone can do this as well as, as myself. We just need to expand on our, uh, on our opinions or our thoughts. We can't be like, this voice acting... This game's voice acting bad, right? Because the thing is, like, people can agree with you. And hell, I might even agree with you. But it's like, why is the voice acting bad? You just gotta expand on points. That's all. That's all. Because at the end of the day, if you enjoy this voice acting more than Batman, no one's gonna take that away from you. It's just, someone else might be like, yo, they're both bad. Where do we go? Okay, so le K, level tw K is where we spin. So, so we gotta go everywhere else but K. Different. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Looks like you've got a date with an angel. Uh -oh. Come to me now. Level 9. Okay, level Just K is where we got on the on the elevator, and then 9 is uh, Alice Angel. So then we gotta go to P14 and 11. Also, that's great, Slim. Like, I can see how these characters are, like, cute and cuddly, and you would want to be able to, like, buy a plushie of them at a store or something. There's a whole twisted world out here. Better get overtime for this. Yeah, let me read what you said. When it comes to Bam Bam, it's not the voice acting, it's just that some characters are missing the right amount of tone that is unique to each character, but it's but no it's too normal and basic like Shy Henry. I can see that. Like if you're saying some of the characters in Bam Bam or other games might just be shy or have the wrong tone for their voice like this character i can agree with you on that but that's when i guess you 
ask the developer if that was intentional or not, right? Like, if I talk to, to Joy Drew or whoever made this game and I'm like, yo, did you, like, intend for your main character in the first game to just be bored as all heck? And he's like, yeah, that was my intention. I'd be like, okay, bet. You actually did a banger job of that. Uh, you did it so well that he put me to sleep. But if he's like, no, we actually wanted you to, like, feel scared and, like, feel bad for the kid, for the main uh, protagonist that he's stuck in this world, I'd be like, you did not convey that at all. These blasted elevators. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come, sometimes they keep on going to hell and back. I keep telling these people. Mr. Joey Drew keeps cutting corners like this. Someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. I'm taking the stairs. The stairs! Nothing in there. Yeah, Henry ain't phased about anything happening here. He's just, this is just another day on the job. Tomorrow I go to Raccoon City, and the day after I go to Silent Hill. He's just the greatest protagonist of all time. Oh, that's funny. I don't think anyone has used that, um, <laughs> that command in a while. That actually kind of fits with what we're doing right now. We can't keep the devil waiting. That's going to be you. Hey, you take care of Slim, all right? Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Anything less than perfect was left behind. I had to do it. She made me. Interacting with stuff just to interact with it. Who would have thought? Me, having lunch with Joey Giroux. Apparently times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. But I gotta say, he wasn't at all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. I wouldn't be surprised if the whole, um... Poppy Playtime Poppy character aspect came out from, uh, like was conceptualized from the Susie Campbell character of this game. Because if you think about it, this character, Susie, she's she's the voice of Alice, but she also wants to kind of like be Alice. And then when you pay po play Poppy Playtime, you in the first level, you find a videotape of like someone who actually wants to like be the toy. And I haven't, I don't know my whole entire Poppy Playtime lore yet. I don't know chapter one, but it's kind of insinuating that she might be Poppy. Although, who knows, someone probably finished chapter 2 and 3 and 4, and it's like, actually, the, the sword changed way far from that now. Hmm. Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind. Swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was a wiggling, pulsing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> Yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet, I'll 
even let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few easy, weensy little favors for me first. Return I like how she doesn't even look at me. All right, and now we're back to uh, where we were um, on last stream, technically. You wanna be cool and scary if, like, when you were coming back here, all these bodies were gone, and then you're just like, where did they go? And then you gotta fight like these zombified creatures or or whatever. But well, that would be too cool, so that's obviously not going to happen. My machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. Why did you ask me to take the goddamn... Okay, there we go. Search gearboxes on the... Uh, K? On level K, okay. There are so few rules to our world now. So little truths. But there is one rule we all know and respect down here. Beware the ink demon. Stay out in the open for too long and he will find you. For if you see him, you better hide. If you don't, well, I enjoy it. Now, okay. let us begin our work. Legit. So now we're 18 minutes into the game, and I think this is actually where the game actually starts to get fun. Demon. They say he hears everything. Every creak of the floor. Every rustle of paper. I wouldn't run so fast if I were you. You never know what to draw him in. So it's literally just the tired from Resident Evil 2 remake then. If you run, he'll come closer to you. If yeah, we just gotta walk around so he doesn't get us. But also, if we're near one of these like hidey spots, we can just run and open up. It's a gear piece. One down. Is it the Butcher Gang people that have the gear pieces? This one's empty. Ah, crap. One empty too. Dead end? Yeah. The main question is, is he a roamer or is he the spawner? Is he roaming around the map as I search around for the gear pieces in right now? Or is he just gonna spawn in the next corner just cause that's how uh, game's scary nowadays, right? You do gotta give it to R2 Remake though, the fact that the tower actually does roam around the whole entire police station is really cool. You would think they would just like, pluck him in and get you cheaply like that. Nothing in here. I think it would be good horror to try and defeat blinded zombie for I, I think so. Like, at, at least just a different enemy type. Granted, it can be the exact same, like, we're... Same as these enemies that they die in, like, two hits, but now it might take three hits, and that'd be cool. Just something. They, they gave you these weapons, but, like, not enough ah, enemies to fight fled. them. Return them to me, and try not to die on the way back. I will say though, I might have already forgotten where she was.
Level 9. Okay, look at that. It actually does tell you. Also, was there supposed to be something chasing me? How come yesterday the goddamn demon followed me for like three, four different areas, but now we didn't see him once? More or less, I just hope all of you are enjoying your day, right? I hope that's not it. Oh. A swollen ones. Uh oh. They're just stuffed full of extra thick ink. It makes me sick. Thick. And yet, it's the perfect thing for keeping myself together. If you're gonna catch them, you'll have to learn to move quietly. Come back to my door. I have something that you'll need. The ink syringe. That's not good. Huntsville and searchers on eleven. Oh, now we're just like in, taking the ink from them. Look at that. Good boy? Sound effect though. Okay, I'll stop that. Damn, you have a weird uh, sound effect. I am your friend! <laughs> oh no, he killed me, GG. All right, so the dangling heads kill you in like four swipes. Those are technically the toughest ones. I think my favorite thing is it spawns you right here, so like... Ew, it's white. Bro! What range is that? Oh, it's only the big ones that turn into that. Wait, behind me? Wait. Yes? That's kind of weird. Are you just messing with me now? Also, hug the wall because you'll be on the on the wood, which one of these sound effects. Oh, cameraman! I forgot about that. I gotta fix their sound effects. Straight out of RE1? What, the sound effects? I'm also just saying like they're they're louder than anything else, so you're hearing like and it's like bro Is that supposed to scare me? Okay. Well yeah, you're kinda slow in the muck. So if you can like hug the wall you'll kinda be like on the wood. Speed running tech.
What the hell now? Is he going to be blocking my way out? Also, I like how I was running in that area and he couldn't hear me. Oh, it works. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if it doesn't work, that's pretty cool. Because now I have to make my way to uh, point K uh, with using the environment. Actually, I think, yeah, she's on that. Shit. She was perfect. No matter what Joey says. I guess this level would actually be a bit more uh, interesting if you didn't use the elevator, if you think about it. Because then you would have to be using the flights of stairs to uh, make your way around. But considering this game doesn't have a map, uh, I'm not going to get lost and waste time. All for what? Another day, a nick another demon day. that chases you every now and then that you can just run into and die. Because there's no uh, cons to dying in this game so far. And... Uh, You'll respawn to the closest bendy statue because uh live, so but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, uh, well I guess it would be cool to use the Tommy gun. I will admit it probably would be overkill for this game. I'll make this simple. Look for valve pads. Turn the little wheel. Then bring me their power cores. Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always change my mind. Bro, this is just fetch quest the mission or the level. But to make it interesting, they give you a different weapon every time you're fetching something. Although the bitch of it all is every single weapon that they give you does the same amount of damage. So, like, it's just a skin on the hatchet if you really think about it. Unless that skills in one hit, then that would be funny as shit. Back to the old grind. Level P. I got a plunger, Boris! And it still does the same stock sound effect that every other game does. Henry the Mailman. It's just weird, they give you so many of these like hiding spots and it makes you think that you're actually going to be uh, using them throughout the whole entire level. And no, not really. That's true, all we got to do is just put a halo on ourselves and then we're good, if you think about it. Yeah, that was, it was a joke that it did the same damage as the other weapons, but it actually is still a two-hitter. Yeah, that might not be good. I don't want to work here anymore. Force can take it. Uh, see, this is the, that's the stairway that. Oh my gosh! Look at that thing. You got bullshit range. And I took whatever. Uh, that was. Funny enough, I was here before. Oh! Yeah, it'll make me smile for a little bit. Fuck off. 
I'm playing an original puzzle that I've never seen in a video game before in my life before. Please tell me how Resident Evil is not influential to any fucking games ever, please. Just, just do it. Oh my god, even a baby could do it. Well, to be fair, bro, like, this, this, like, Valve puzzle has been in OGRE before the remake, so... That, that That's more so what I'm referencing. How the puzzles of OGRE are still seen in video games today. Which, there's nothing wrong with that, but... I don't know, when people, like, talk up indie horror games, and then I play those indie horror games, and I'm just seeing things from, like, real horror games, I'm like... Can you really say it's good? Now, I... Oh, fuck me. I can be like, alright, I'll give you, um... Also, isn't there a hiding spot right here? It's not a bad puzzle, but I can guarantee you more people probably experience that puzzle in Bendy than in the OGRE games, right? So it's gonna be like, yo, this is actually pretty cool. And you know what? It is pretty cool. But I guess when you play the games where those puzzles originated from, it just feels weak. Especially when they don't do anything different with them, right? At least RE, it's like, okay, you gotta get like the tubes in different. What is it like? Uh, in different like uh, levels, right? Like a different of uh, a different level for each tube. This one just said no. Just put them all in the middle and call it a day. Are you one as a masterpiece? Well, I mean, now you're just trying to uh, make me smile. It's not, but it is funny how many um, puzzles from those old school games are seen in the game. Now I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just saying at least try to do something different. It is different, you see, in Resident Evil it would be like three different colors of green, but now it's pink. Not gonna lie, I don't like how I... F Not gonna lie, I don't like how free it is to get him off of you. I do wish he would sometimes check the lock or at least camp the room a bit rather than... Yeah, because I will say the most interesting part about this level is when you're getting chased by, um, by the monster, but... When you can literally just like chase them and go to a, a locker and hide in there, it it's like you said, it's just free. There's there's, there's nothing to be scared of once you already make it inside. Granted, even if he does get you the fact, oh look, it actually does heal your health. Um. The fact that you have unlimited lives, or unlimited health, or whatever you want to call it, does kind of make this not even tense when you're being chased by him. If anything, you sometimes might just want to run into him so he can, like, spawn you in the checkpoint faster. Oh my god, press right four times. Press the middle one once. Oh, actually, no. Wait. Give me a second. Oh, that's dumb. You gotta, like, bring it all the way down so it can start going up. Actually, there's something different. Maybe this should be even more accurate. Plus, it doesn't help that the game also kind of like starts going all blobby, like once uh, he uh, starts making his way to you. It's a big indicator of uh, telling you that he's here. I will say though, where does Boris go? I, I bring the elevator here and Boris says, yeah, nah, I'm, I'll meet you at like point 49 or whatever. Also, what's the point of bacon soup if the game legit auto regenerates hella fast? Um, trophy. That's the only thing I see the why they have so much bacon soup around the map. It's just for a trophy.
Okay, I'm sorry. You better get overtime for this. I better get overtime for this. Oh, it's called the Miracle Station for a reason. Still wonder if they put something like holy water around it. Even more enjoyable. Maybe, but I mean, that would be a game giving you lore, right? Something that this game definitely doesn't give you. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna lie, though, I do want to play a game where I kind of have to like talk again. Just for the shits and giggles. We gotta play an RPG soon. Point K. My boy, I'm ripping the station off its hinges and wearing it as a suit then. Well, do you know what the sad thing is? I feel like most of the questions we have are expanded on and answered in the 5 to 6, um, I was going to say FNAF, in the 5 to 6 uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, books that you can now buy at your local uh, bookstore for sixty nine ninety nine each. That That's what I feel like it is. It's, hey, all the questions you had while you were playing this game, we actually have answers for it. It's in the books. And I, I say that as a joke, but I have a bad feeling that actually might be the case. What the hell is that? Frack me, of course this game has book lore. Why does every horror indie game do this? Because they obviously can't put in the lore inside of the video game itself. That would be dumb! You know, my favorite part about my favorite part about playing RE One is that like you got no lore for it, and once you beat the game, Capcom said, "Hey, you gotta buy like these twenty books to understand where the T virus came from." That was my favorite part about RE One. Is he upstairs? I always do wonder if he could actually grab you while you're in the animation of getting inside of the of the shelter. I'll send you a prequel animation if you're interested. No, thank you. I only look into like extended media of a video game if the video game itself impresses me a lot. If I need to watch said extended media to understand the video game, that's when I say no. Fuck you. Um. See you next year or whatever, or, or I'll see you when you actually remake yourself and make yourself better. You see what I mean? Like, bro was about to grab you and he's like, nah, holy water. Yeah. Which, like I said, makes zero sense because, like, if everything was. If everything in this world is coming to life because of a demonic um, ink machine, then I'm like, okay, so. The the ink mach the demon that was created by the ink machine can't interact with the porta potty that was also made by the ink machine. Like, how, how come not this, but everything else you can? Oh, it's because there's a halo that was used made used by the same ink that created the ink demon. So like, what the fuck? That 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 should not counteract the ink demon. If it's used, if it's made by the same ink that the ink demon is made from, right? Like, you, you get what I'm talking about. Not enough holy water? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like you gotta read the books to understand why that shit actually um, prevents the ink demon from attacking you.
You know what would be sick if there were these shitters, but it was only one per puzzle area? You have to run away from him in the, uh, to the booth instead of having one in Exactly. But you know why they put one in every room, though. You know why. Because it's for kids. And nothing wrong with that. Although, if someone's gonna be like, it's actually not for kids, then I'll be like, okay, so the creator of this game saw 25 year old YouTubers and streamers playing this game and couldn't run away from the ink demon, so he's like, shit, I gotta put like 20 different like hiding spots for these streamers to get past this game. Right? That, that's why, like, I, I don't want to, like, crap on the adults that played it, but I feel like that might be the case. Granted, I gotta remember that the adults that play video games today are not the same ones that, like, I grew up with, so... They, they, they kinda need some help playing some games. Nothing wrong with that. Back in my day, you just get good at video games. Now, people just use... cheats to get past everything. Hey, you're definitely not wrong with that. Funny enough, like I said, I feel like more people grew up watching, like, their favorite streamer play this game, like Markiplier, right? So the, the, the fondness they have for this game might more so come from, like, the era that this game came out in, which was the era of, like, theory videos, right? Like, yo, I wonder what's gonna happen next in the, like, the next chapter of Bendy because of the cliffhanger that it ended off on, right? I don't know, I, like I said, I don't see people, like, just playing this for fun. What's up, Hypex? How you doing? I can't wait for finding Frank? Frank? Uh-oh. So if anything, um, overall, would, would you want to watch me play, um, I like how Benny's over there, but he doesn't see me. That Alice game that you recommended to me is now on sale, and I was thinking of getting it. You didn't even see me! If he gets me, it's because he has uh, some bullshit that makes it faster than me. Okay, I thought the I thought the thing was to the left, but it actually was to the right. So I'll give you that one. Oh, yeah, remember you just spawn right in front of uh, the white bendy statue, so. I was gonna say, I could probably like run into the Ink Demon right now again and die. I oh, know, I just died right here. Oh my god, guys, we lost so much progress. And so we gotta hit 11 of these fucks? God damn it. I wish Mark and maybe uh, Dan TDM play this when I was younger, but revisiting with a new set of eyes really does change my perspective on this game. I will say this though any thoughts and opinions you had when you were a kid should not be like rigged reduced to nothing or rectified just because of my playthrough you should still keep those thoughts and opinions but i will say yeah i feel like you're like yo this this is like a spooky game or like this seems like a fun game to play then yeah those thoughts can change afterwards right but the thoughts that you had during that time shouldn't be changed just because of the new playthrough like the lighting the what Speaking of a game that needs more eyes on it, I won't be giving a new game suggestion until you beat... Okay. Yeah, just because you don't want to overwhelm me too much, right? Like, if you tell me that your suggestion, you know I'm going to be like, Hey, that sounds great. I'm down to try it out after we finish all the other 20 suggestions that uh, people want me to finish, right? But uh, yeah, I, I'll definitely play a Dark Revival. 
visit level K and have any toys. Is this level K? That is K. Oh, it's gonna be one of those ones, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we gotta... I did not just softlock myself. Forrest, open the fucking gate. You did not just lock me in this corner. Oh, I better hope this guy can jump. Oh god, thank god. That, that would have been funny as shit, though. Well, yeah. If anything, I usually, like, try to have two streams on a game. The first one is me just being mad and angry at it. And then the second stream, which is this one, is me accepting what the game is and just trying to enjoy for what it is. So first stream, I was expecting it to be the scariest, spookiest game of all time, and it wasn't, so at this point I'm just trying to see what it is. And Unless I'm wrong, it seems to be a more of a story-focused game that doesn't have much story, but hey, that's okay. Boris opened the gates so I can abuse you with a plunger, right? Anger, depression, acceptance? Uh-oh. Yeah, you're not wrong with that. You're not wrong with that at all. I gotta get out all the rage on the first stream, so then I can just uh, enjoy the rest of the game afterwards, right? I think wherever we died is where we gotta go, cause, uh, that's where the ink demon was, right? Oh, it'll say funny enough, though. This would be a great entry for a kid to get into the horror, uh, indie horror genre. I'm not even memeing. Like, you could actually give this to a kid. Same with Security Reach and be like, hey, if you enjoy this, this can uh, be your gateway into the horror games. Now, obviously, it would be better to give them an actual horror game. But you know, sometimes you gotta you got to start out low and then go into the higher, scarier stuff, right? You're not just gonna let your five-year-old kid start playing FNAF 5, 4 right away. Unless you do, then goddamn, they're hardcore. Is that why they didn't give you a, a hatchet? So you wouldn't be destroying the bendy cutouts before you had to? What even was the big horror game that was out around this time? RE7 if you count that as horror game? Well, I mean, every RE is a horror game, right? But if, if this game did come around like 2017, then the big horror games that aren't Capcom Resident Evil related, because there's more than just Resident Evil. I know I love Resident Evil a lot, but we do gotta point out the other ones. And you can probably start seeing uh, why some games started to be very similar to another. I want to say the biggest one around that time was Alien Isolation. A game where you hide from an indestructible xenomorph in, in containers and shit and hope that it goes away. Not like this game. But uh, yeah, Alien Isolation, you got Outlast, 
if I'm not if I'm not talking about like uh, any horror games, right? Those were the big ones at the time. Obviously FNAF, but like I said, any horror. And that was even at that time that was still a PC only game. I don't think the first FNAF game came out came out on PlayStation until like 2019. And that's sad. Always on time. But yeah, I will say most of the hard games in that uh, in that time frame were mostly first person jump scare games where you gotta hide behind an item to do stuff. That's why and you can probably see this now before that's why uh, I wasn't playing games like that in 2017 I was probably the only human on earth that's like yo evil within two though <laughs> oh man evil within two sucks no one's ever gonna like take anything from this shit ass game five years from now and like make it better and then we're all gonna be like actually this this is a good game RE4 remake will definitely not take anything from evil within two <laughs> Stealth and Evil Within? That's stupid as shit. I want to kill the zombies. Stealth and Resident Evil 4 Remake, though. That makes Leon look sexy. Therefore, 10 out of 10. Also, is he actually going to chase me now? Because I will say that's a 10 out of 10 if he finds me now. If not, then I don't know. Okay. I do like the calmness of this VA, but it doesn't fit for sure. Always on time. And another day, another dollar. It's satisfying to hear with the building. It is. Like, that, that's a funny, I guess, like, meme um, save uh, text that you can have, right? But it, it's the other voices of dialogue that make me go, okay, you just don't care about anything that's happening around you, right? I beat in the Not A Hero DLC recently. Did you enjoy it? I want to say that was my favorite. Well, other than punching people with my super fist as Joe Baker or whatever. I did really enjoy that DLC a lot. Like, it was a fun game. Just, uh... I can think of other original games I would rather replay than uh, RE7. And that's all it is. I just... In a world where humans can only live for so long, you want to spend your time playing good shit. And, uh... Oh, I tried it! And that's all. sometimes all you need to do. As long as you try something, you can say at least yeah, you tried it out, right? I do want to see what other horror games were at when uh, Bendy came out, though. So I'm going to quickly search that up on Google while we wait for the translation. Train station. You know I'm tired when. I like when you write Bendy in the ink machine, it, it comes up as a survival game. Survival... <laughs> First Google question, is Bendy appropriate for kids? My fa my son finds this game interesting and tells me it isn't bad at all. There's no bloodshed or inappropriate scenes in the game except for the ritual which has been given a solution. To all the parents who may feel worried or stressed about their child on certain games, check out my other reviews on games. Hey, there's no blood in this game, therefore it's good for kids. Now, Satanism and rituals? Hey, you know, like, I didn't see it, therefore you can't get mad at me if... Your, your son starts talking about that shit. <laughs> uh, number nine, right? February 10, 2017. Okay, so let me see. 2017 scary games. Ooh, okay. 
So these are the twenty seven the game the scary games that came out in twenty seventeen, and you guys can let me know if you like them or played any of them. All right, Outlast two, I haven't played it. I heard it's good. Resident Evil seven, Biohazard. Yeah. Uh, Friday the thirteenth. Um, hey, that's not bad. But I, I, if anything, you could say that's when like the asymmetrical horror games started uh, started to like come out. Little Nightmares, a game I've always wanted to play. So, Evil Within two. Hmm. Hellblade's a newest sacrifice. What? Doki Doki Literature Club. I think that just wins it. Uh, Detention. Never heard of it. Observer. I've heard of it. Prey. 2017. Really? Yo, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator though. Narcosis. Yo, Marui. The Midnight Shadows. Stories Untold. Hello Neighbor. Oh, Hello Neighbor. Oh my gosh. Well Remains of Edith Finch. Granny. And I, I guess that's everything that came out. So, in my opinion, like, well, I would say the three biggest games of that year were um, Resident Evil 7, Outlast 2. You see, I want to say Little Nightmares, but I want to say that game didn't really start taking off until much recently, not going to lie. So, it would have to be Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Rio Simulator. If we're talking about, like, impact on pop culture, those three would be the ones. But if I have to pick uh, the best horror game of that year for me, it would be Evil with it too. Although there's some games on that list I haven't tried ever, like Doki Doki, so maybe we can play that one day. But uh, yeah, I guess that gives you like a, a sense of what the uh, survival horror horror games genre was doing in that time frame. Watching in. Are you seven to me is the average game, but not horrible, not amazing. It, it, yeah, but I mean, when you compare it to this, then it becomes a masterpiece, right? Oh, you weren't on live chat? Okay. Well, I, I did respond to it, and I said uh, I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. Disgusting wretches have wandered my halls, have gone unchecked, trying to drag me back to the darkness. Kill the butcher gang. What's a butcher gang? Destruction. You don't know what's a butcher gang? No, I didn't read the books. Is is the game gonna tell me what a butcher gang is? What? It's a gang that butchers you, idiot. Oh, okay, I get it. That's my favorite enemy because it has like a long ass animation before it attacks you. Why do you need a machine gun again? You gotta remember old games. I, I play games much differently than other people. If you're gonna tell me every other YouTuber you watch like ran up to these fucks and start smashing, then yeah, of course they're idiots and gonna die. But uh, that's when you grow a brain cell and go, huh, maybe, maybe if I like walk backwards and smack at the same time, it would be much more efficient at killing them and not taking any damage at all. But I guess that's the difference between uh, a kid playing this for the first time and uh, someone that's been playing this game for a long time. Oh my god. What the hell? I, bro, I thought you told me you get the Tommy gun like it's when you do so much shit. Killed. We literally just got it. Oh, well. Better luck next time. Oh, okay, it was a joke. <laughs> ha 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 ha, it fooled me, it fooled me. Good job. Use the lift to descend to the depths. Cool. The what? Another day, another dollar. Oh, it's getting too dark. Damn, 
What's this area? Hmm. I think that was supposed to be scary. Projectionist, very different from the Evil Within One DLC monster. Very different. Yeah, I'm definitely not going down there if it's that dark, though. Can't jump. At least we know where we respawn, so that's good. See, now that would have been scary if he actually was right behind me and like did a jump scare like that. That uh, would be a 10 out of 10 right there. Okay, I guess that's where we gotta go. I will say it's more, it's it's kind of sad that there's more world building in, um... There's more wo world building in the first episode of Poppy Playtime than there is in this, uh, first three chapters of this game. Because, I don't know, if I were to ask any one of you, without you, like, having to use, uh, YouTuber video knowledge or book knowledge, if I was like, okay, like, what's Bendy? He'd be like, oh, he's a cartoon. I'm like, okay, but like, what else? He'd be like, uh, he's a popular cartoon? It's like, we, we don't know nothing about Bendy. We don't have like a plaque that tells us like how, how influential Bendy has been over the world and why people buy his merchandise and shit. We don't know jack shit about Bendy. But the first chapter of Poppy Playtime, you at least see the plaque as to why people like Huggy Wuggy and why this is a big seller, right? So I will say that's something I do enjoy that's in, um, I do enjoy the world building more in Poppy Playtime than this, because so far, like, it, it seems like I gotta use my brain to fill in the pieces and the gaps that this game's giving me. Uh, uh, he's cool, that's that's what he is. And the thing is, you're right, he is cool. But, um, I'm like, I, I like dumb shit, so that's why I think he's cool. I need to know why the rest of the world thinks Bendy is cool. I'm assuming it's because in this universe there's no such thing as Mickey Mouse, so Bendy is kind of like the Mickey Mouse of this universe, and that's why people like him. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder how warm the ink is, or maybe it's cold? I mean, ink sh probably should be cold, no? It'll only be warm once it's, like, consuming a human or spilling blood. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty similar to uh, the DLC of Evil Within 1. You gotta avoid the camera woman. How many do I need? Hearts? Collecting hearts.
Oh, this ink is kind of different though. What if it's actually magical? Well, I mean, it's technically demonic ink if you think about it. You can't run. To be honest, I only like the steamboat car uh, cardboard cutout Bendy. The ink form is cool, but when I think of Bendy, I think of yeah, no, I think of uh, the actual look of Bendy. I don't think of the ink theme in a Bendy. I just say because you'll never fight that version of Bendy. Oh yeah, because you can't run in this once uh once he sees you, you're kind of fucked. Although I was able to hit him, so now I'm just wondering if I can kill him. I might be stuck. They literally took a monster from evil within one and called it a day. That's sad. Although I think what's more sadder is I'm actually stuck, guys. Like, you press circle to enter it, and I can't exit. Like, there's nothing I can do to exit this. XXX, square, 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 triangle, 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 circle, circle, R1, R1, R2, R2, L2, L2, L1, L1, left, right, up, down, A, B, start, pause. We're actually stuck, guys. There's the, 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 the shit that they put in the game to make you, like, safe is actually also good for breaking the fucking game, so... GG, we gotta actually quit. Is the angels protecting you? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, protecting my sanity. It's like getting stuck in Freddy in SB Day 1, I guess. Not wrong about that. Though I guess for some reason that never really happened to me. Damn, buddy has range. You know what would be cool if the TV head would play the sort of bendy cartoons while roaming around the air? Of course! Or maybe if it looks like- if it looks at a picture of, uh, the Butcher Gang crew, it actually, uh, brings them to life or some shit. I have a feeling this fuck has a health pool. And I wanna take it down to zero. Is that you choking on ink or a kid laughing every time you die? Both. I think the scream is the monster looking at me, but the other sound effects are.
I just shot him? I don't know, it's just weird because with Bendy, every time you actually attacked it, it wouldn't give you a, a sound effect, right? So I'm thinking you can kill this thing. Five hearts, five hearts. So I was thinking about that. I was thinking if I could bring him to that box, I could get on top of that box and keep on smacking him until he dies, right? But also, what's the point if we already finished our mission, right? If anything, him killing us is what we wanted, because then, um... But yeah, I'm gonna have to turn on the fucking light soon. Because it teleports us back to that spot, which makes it easier for us to continue with our mission. Uh, yeah, I might have to turn on the light soon. No more spooky lights. No more spooky camera. Maybe if I uh, charge these uh, lights, that would have been better. I don't know. Vita set up! Hey, nice! That's the first game that you're going to play with it. What's the point? I mean, you're going to... You, What's the point? I mean, you're the game tester after all? Oh yeah, but unless uh, someone's gonna donate some money, I'm not gonna fucking waste time uh, testing shit for a, a fucking five plus year old game at this point, so. I'm just gonna continue the game, if that's okay. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a trophy to kill that guy, and I'll get it when I get the Tommy gun. You're donating your time? I mean, you're not wrong with that. I guess, I guess you do have a point there. Right, last thing you want, right? That's probably the main reason why I've never tried modding uh, one of my consoles, because that would be uh, a, a sad day for me if um, I wasn't able to play uh, those console VMR games. This guy even still here? that that guy has. I won't even be able to make it to where I want to go. I can say if he's still chasing me, then he has a lock on harder than any other enemy I've seen. If 
think he's still chasing me. Now he just broke the game. I really hate you before. I I hate you because you're right. I hate you because you're right. At the end of the day, I'm just a goddamn game tester. That's all I fucking am. The fact that that shit happened makes me go, how the fuck did that even get through? I love how I had a plan of how to get him stuck, and fucking buddy gets stuck himself. And then we just get he easy headshots and kill him. So we were able to find out, yes, you can kill him. No, you don't get a trophy for killing him. And yes, we wasted all that time for nothing. I love this game. Why do you guys do this to me? Ugh. Let's continue with the game and make it to the next chapter. Love you too. God damn it. That was sad though. I, I wasn't expecting Buddy to get stuck behind that. And uh, yeah, I guess you can kill him. Why do you get jack shit? Unless you're supposed to kill him without dying. Then. Uh, I don't If anything, Overworld Games, would you say that this is the longest chapter in the game? Because I feel like it is, only because you got to go through uh, fetch quest scenarios. I'm kind of hoping the next two chapters are a bit shorter, just so we can finish this in one stream. If not, then we'll play tomorrow. You have all the hearts? Uh, yes. Yes. We've reached the end of my to-do list, my little errand boy. I hope you enjoyed our time together. I'll always treasure it. Return to the lift. It's time to go home. A return to the surface. I better get overtime for this. Hey, fun time. Because this model is a Japanese one, that me the menus are using the okay cancel. Reesh. 
Also, did you just send me a frame request on PlayStation as well? Because I, I noticed I got one. Oh, sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll add it up as soon as I'm done this, alright? Well, I know where they got the ruin uh, ending from now. Hey, you know, sometimes this game steals from FNAF, and then FNAF guys to steal from Benny and Link Machine as well. I'm sorry, Cassie, but it has to be done. Also, if you're going down this fast, your body will be at the ceiling, but hey, that's okay. That's only the realism that a uh, secret or brief ruin can give you, but not this one. So how long does this fucking shit fall down for? Yeah, if that shit fell down for that long, you, you'd be dead. It's what I would be saying if your character was a normal human being with human organs. You would 100% be dead. But we're a cartoon character, therefore we will survive that spawn, right? Right! You know you lost it when you praise Ruin? I know. The path of the angel... Is going yandere mode? I don't watch enough anime to know what that means, sadly. Alright, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. No crowbar. Cool. Angel Path, you restart chapter three? What? The what? What are you talking about? Also, maybe a fun time. I would have to uh, learn more about it, which, like, you can let me know in the Discord. Accounting and Finance. Management Office. Grant Cohen. Damn. Definitely something missing here. Enter the archives. Find the missing turn wheel. happening with these people here. He will set us free! You said Path of the Angel likely off the achievement for beating the chapter but I sent you towards Demon. Uh, I think you sent me towards Demon on the last stream but I started a new game and we just went to Angel. If there's a difference between Demon and Angel Path, then I don't know, and honestly, I kind of don't care right now. I kind of just want to play this game however I want to, and then you guys can tell me secrets and stuff after uh, we finish it, alright? There's a trophy for going Path of Demon, so I'm going to have to take that path later, no matter what, for my Platinum Trophy.
They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow, says he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it, <laughs> well, oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars. Private. So that's how it works. Is, is that really how it works? Okay, now books that you push in in uh, the first room. Well, only two more chapters to go and then we're done the game. And then we'll have like final thoughts or something afterwards. Oh my gosh. Now we're going into psycho warfare tactics. Like check the stream and uh, therefore you're scared, right? 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 Like just just stick with one. Are, are you gonna be a scary game? Are you gonna be a, a walking simulator? I, I guess that's why it's called a survival game on Google, right? You gotta survive the insanity that this game puts you through. I don't know, I'm missing one book. Where is it? There we go. Good thing everything is in yellow! Therefore the yellow highlighted item is uh, very, very, very much blended into the background. Where the hell is this? Ruin? Can I push this? I don't even hear a plop. I can get across here if I can find a way to fix this. All right, tell me you can't just like grab onto that rope and pull yourself across. You're not Captain America? Hey, have a great night, Desco, all right? the goo from his back? What? And this blob of goo is going to help us with what we need to do, right? Turn it into a gear. Okay, so okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I like that. I like that. I felt like that was kind of too simple. I know, it's just. I guess the reason why I find it boring is because there's no stakes. There's no, there's nothing that happens if you fail. And at that point, I'm like, well, there's no sense of danger or, or something that motivates you to preserve yourself from the dangers around you. And we're just walking as if we got the goddamn, what is it, Mario Star, right? Oh no, we obviously can't jump from here to over there, right? 
So am I supposed to be looking at something? Oh, it's supposed to make me think something's gonna happen? Simple unless you miss the dial and make it like five cups. Well, then you just grab more goo and make it all over again, right? It's not like you're soft locked if you make five cups instead of the gear. The the worst thing that can happen to you if you don't make the gear when you're making when you, when you put that goo in that machine is you'll waste a couple minutes and you're gonna have to grab more goo to make the gear. Like that, that's the worst thing. Can happen. It's not like your character dies if you don't make the gear. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a heart attack now. Look how scary that was. I just shat myself. I see you there, my little errand boy. Give me an axe, I'm going to take your off your head. Is always watching. What is it that keeps you going? The end of the stream, honestly. Is it the thrill of the hunt? The thirst? For your freedom? The greed of the platinum or trophy. Perhaps you're just looking for a little friendly wolf. <laughs> that looks like something's gonna break out of it. Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. Jump down there. Spooky, super sad music, guys. Are you guys the workers here? Are you the lore? Nice. So, buddy said, okay, make sure all the heads have the Cthulhu look, and then just cover the rest of the body in black goo and call it a day. No angels, he will set us free. I say, like, this room's interesting. There's a lot of lore here, but you gotta have to, like, make it... You gotta have to, like, come up with your own conclusions for this room. Unless you read a book. But what I'm gathering is this... These are the... People that worked at Joy Drew Studios that got experimented on with this goo and they're like, yo, we're monsters now, but also we're not going to die from that bendy creature. So we kind of have to stick together and we're going to stay and survive in this room. That's kind of cool. Kind of wish your character, like, interacted with them or emoted anything that would make them feel like a human. But hey, you know what? That's, that's, well, what else do I expect from a goddamn robot, right? When are my playing Fortnite? I mean, I said I was going to play it tomorrow, so probably Thursday. Hope you have a good night, though, Gerardo. Oh my gosh, that would be so much scarier if, like, you actually did something. If anything, how come Bendy has, like, one glove hand and the other one's, like, a tiny small hand? It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that's always the best one, right? Um, it's just a video game. Why are you getting mad over this? You know what? Uh, at that point, that's when I go, actually, you're right. I, I, I don't even know why. Okay, there's two baths. What I, well, what time is it? I was gonna say, I'm down to play something else after this. Yeah. 
That is literally just dead space. That is one to one just dead space. That is unapologetic. Unapologetically dead space that it makes me want to do what this guy's fucking doing right now. The, o the only thing that would make it more dead space, but they can't do it otherwise they would get sued, is Buddy smacks himself so hard that his head explodes and then slowly falls on the ground. That's just dead space right there. You cannot tell me otherwise. That's not dead space. What, you're telling me if, if someone's just banging their head on, on the wall until they, like, bleed out and die, that makes it dead space? I mean, yeah, you tell me another fucking game that had that in there. That's sad. I remember, indie horror games are original and never inspired by the AAA horror games. If you like Resident Evil or Dead Space, you're an idiot. I think there was an explanation for Bendy's hands here. Really? Okay, I'm down for that. Weird cutscene. I love invisible walls. Well, that, that's gonna be me after this stream. <laughs> yeah. Almost there. For 40 years, I've built attractions that stagger the imagination. Colossal wonders such as the world has never seen. I have earned my legacy with sweat. Right in front of everyone. High-level investors, Wall Street tycoons, the ever tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie, like I was his child. Our you friend. may be paying me, Mr. Drew, but you don't own me. I'll build you a park bigger than anything you could ever possibly conceive. But before you go taking any bows, Mr. Drew, Know that this grand achievement will belong to me, and to me alone. Hey, they're making Disneyland. That's cute. Does that mean Bendy 3 will take place at an amusement park? Uh-oh. And now the curtains will fall down, and I'll be trapped. Or nothing happens. Sometimes nothing happening is uh, scary. Bendy Hell, yay! Okay, this place might look interesting to at least explore. These are the honestly. Another day, another dollar. I, I don't think I've ever seen a save system be completely useless. Like, sure you save, but like, well, what's the point of saving in this game? You get auto saves every time you die. You get like respawn, like, away from the save station. These guys down the warehouse get to play games all day while I'm stuck cleaning up after them. They keep locking themselves out of their own back room. So I send it to a little guy that says, "You smart, right? Here's an idea." Why not make these games to knock open the door if you win? It'll be fun for you guys, and it saves me the trip down here every day. They win for it like a dog to pot roast. I tell ya, if these guys don't stop realizing who the real genius is, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, Wally's probably the only character I like in this game, not gonna lie. Kinda wish Wally was a protagonist. He would make every line of dialogue hilarious. The Ank Demon, right, uh, Clementine? How you doing? I saw your comments, and well, 
yes, we will play the sequel to this game. I'm also this not just going like to skip this game. But it's going to need some power. Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming. It's a good thing you don't have to read the books for for what Clementine to understand the story or or for what maintenance. There's a lot of these uh, hidey spots. Cannon bucks. Oh, so they're just there to waste time. Okay, I mean that's good. Well, that just means every question I have for this game will never be answered then. Excuse me. Search the warehouse. Okay. Locked door. Uh, I mean, as much as I would want to go to Disneyland. No, I think the book's definitely more supportive compared to FNAF's. I mean, what does that even mean, though? Like, are the books canon or are they not canon? That, that's the real question right now. Okay, well, okay. I think I'm back to the old grind. See, door one there, door two straight into the right, door three straight to the right. So, where's door? Well, I mean, door four is over there. That's weird, but it actually wants me to like play these mini games. This guy's got oh, I already read that. Okay, you don't hit the exit. Also, I guess this is where you turn on the cross here, right? I was gonna say, how the fuck are you supposed to actually see where you're shooting at? Hey, you're gonna have to turn the sensitivity up to 100 to get this shit done. I play Call of Duty, I can do this. No. I would have to turn sensitivity up max to be able to get perfect. Like, it doesn't give you a fucking meter, it doesn't tell you jack shit, it just 
Ball go up, ball go down, press button, and hopefully you do it right. That makes zero fucking sense at all. Just my fucking luck. Fuck you. Always on time. So literally the only time in the game where you have to turn on a crosshair is if you need if you want to even get past the part. That's cute. I like that. Why can't those be the creatures that we're fighting? That's one. That's one. That's two. Punching Next in. one might be number three. You know, Capcom needs to hire this guy for the remake of RE1. He actually would be perfect. Some company up ahead. Without some kind of weapon, I don't stand a chance. There's gotta be a way around them. I mean, the game speaks for itself. I, I, there's nothing that I can say that anyone else hasn't said already. But goddamn, I, I, I think I found the contender for the worst voice acting in video game history. Intentionally. No, I, I, I'm gonna say this again, and this is no offense to any fans of them, I don't know who the Melee is. People keep on saying it as if I should know them at, like, a Markiplier, like a Catacurus. It's like, I, I don't know who you're talking about. If anything, that might be one of those case scenarios that you sh uh, show to people and go, this is why you hire voice actors and not develop a game and voice it at the same time. Exactly, and like I said, no offense to anyone that likes them, but like, that that's like if I say, hey, you guys know uh, Shinji Mikami? And even if you do, that still doesn't doesn't mean oh that that's a defense as to the voice acting of the game. No, I don't care who they are. I'm gonna call it out the way it is. I 
And no problem at all, Magic Guy, right? Please have yourself an amazing rest of your night and an even better day tomorrow. That might have been a mistake. The only thing I enjoy from this game, the character designs. Damn it. You see, because there's no cons in dying, there's, like, no reason why you can't just do what I'm doing. That's too... Damn, I was gonna... I was wondering if they could reach high places, and I guess, uh, at least the one with the long neck was able to. If I may ask Clementine, like, what other games or things has the Meatly done so I can uh, give them the respect that they deserve? Definitely, that that definitely wouldn't make me call him. Uh, uh, or say that uh, that's not what they mean like. The Meatly's favorite food is bacon, which explains the presence of bacon soup in the Benny series. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, that actually makes sense a lot. So he's just the guy that made the Bendy game. Also... He's not the only guy that made the Bendy game because he also worked with, uh, what's his name? Uh, with Mike Mood? Yeah, no offense, I'm not gonna prop this guy to the same level as Scott Coffin, alright? 
If you guys want to, you're more than welcome to, but I'm not propping this guy as Scott Cawthon just because you guys like his game. <laughs> Bacon, right? I was just searching up like what uh, the Melee has done, and it seems like the only game he has done is just uh, the Bendy game. So. so I guess we need Goo to make something else in here, huh? No? Maybe? FNAF X Benny Club when? Uh, no, thank you. Did you see Reboot Bendy? Robot Bendy? Oh, this guy? And hey, I mean, props to them uh, voicing uh, the character, but yeah, no offense. Like I said, I'm not going to prop up the Melee as Scott Coffin. Scott is on a way different level than the Melee. Plus, if I gotta be a dick, uh, at least Scott Coffin's voice acting works for the game that he made. Compared to this game, which the voice does not work. But uh, that's my own opinion. Also, a question: Which one's the one that works at a, uh, or which one was the creator that was being a dick to like the fans and the workers at uh at the studio? Was it the Meatly or was it the other guy? I hope it wasn't the Meatly. Nah. Well, I guess they fixed that problem, right? Considering they're both still working on uh, Bendy. So where the hell am I going? Straight to the right? I think so. There we go. I think the worst part, Clementine, is... Yeah, this person made less games than Scott Coffin, but... I feel like this guy had more money to make games than Scott Cawthon. Like, when you compare this to FNAF 1, you, you can tell which one had more money behind it. But I can definitely tell you which one has more soul. I think Mike got the rad rep, probably why I didn't see him get a credit in Dark Revival. Uh-oh. Each one more grand than the one before it. It makes my eyes come to tears at the thought. Then, oh, Mr. Drew, for all your talk of dreams, you are the true architect behind so many nightmares. I built this park. It was to be a masterpiece. My masterpiece! Now you think you can just throw me out? Trample me to the dust and forget me? No! This is my mark, my glory. You may think I'm wrong, but I'm still here! Oh my gosh! It's a boss fight! Oh, 
Why am I playing it like it's a video game where I'm gonna run up to the head and punch it in the face? It's probably some dumb shit instead. I'm here thinking I'm playing like goddamn Devil May Cry, running up the goddamn arm, slashing the face off. No, that would be cool. It kind of fits. Also, Clementine, you made sure to read the pinned comment before you started talking on this uh, stream, right? What the hell? Um, just, uh, please, uh, just no spoilers or backseating, alright? Unless I ask for it. Hi. So, I guess you can sit inside of the vehicle. Exactly, is this a boss? Because nothing else has happened up to this point, so... Unless you want to call this another enemy, this is the closest we're going to get to a boss fight. Search the I like how I still search the warehouse. Also, how the fuck was I supposed to see that axe there? The lore is less confusing than FNAF, yeah, yeah. That's why no one knows about what the lore even is to this day, right Clementine? That's why people don't even know if the second game is a reboot, remake, or a sequel. That That's how much better the lore is than FNAF. You can, enjoy, you can like it more than FNAF, but at least uh, when you're talking to another FNAF fan, you can't say something as absurd as that. Because otherwise I will ask you questions that I don't think you have the answers to. And if you don't answer, have answers to those questions, you can't really say the lore is better than FNAF or makes more sense. Because at least the most craziest shit that has happened in FNAF, we have the answers to. I mean, FNAF is good, but I kind of over FNAF? Okay, that, that means you grew out of FNAF, Clementine. That doesn't mean that this game has better lore than FNAF. If it has better lore than FNAF in your eyes, then that's okay. You, you can enjoy that and have that opinion, but... You can't just say something outlandish like that and be like, Well, actually, I just grew out of it. It's like, okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but... It, it's when you say stuff like that this game has very little different app, that's when I'm going to have to call you out because uh, I don't think it doesn't. Yeah, which is cute, it's cute. Granted, I did not see the axe until Clementine told me that there was an axe on the ground. So, spoilers in a way. So, I mean, I, I, I guess the game has been just up to so far. I should have expected a random weapon to fall out of nowhere and be on the ground that I have to pick up, right? I mean, I can kind of admit I grew out of Mario, but I still love it and enjoy it. Nothing wrong with uh, outgrowing something. Just, uh, I don't know, don't put others down for not, for enjoying the thing that you enjoyed a, a long time ago. Uh, 
now. I can understand that, but to be fair, Clementine, there is no new FNAF without old FNAF. And the fact that they still gotta bring back Willie Mafton in old storylines from OG FNAF kinda shows you that new FNAF is nothing without old FNAF. This boss fight is unique, I'll give it that, unless you can tell me another game with something like this. Ah. There's probably a Nintendo game where the amusement park is a boss fight. I just can't think of one right now. Five and time, please don't spoil, otherwise we're gonna have to time you out, alright? Right? <laughs> Why not? If anything, what's the purpose of getting inside of the sea? But enough, I guess this is the only time where eating might help you out. Bro, get out of the way. Sit on it. Very nice. I heard that DLC uh, fixed up the game a bunch. the closest thing that only happened that happened in this game. Shut up. I knew someone was gonna say something like that. Alright Clementine, if I may ask, um, what happens when you uh, hit the face with the axe? Does it actually like kill him or does it do nothing? That makes three. One to go. See, and that's when someone that's like a big fan of the melee will be like, well, shit, if you're talking shit about the voice acting, let's hear you voice act. And I'll be like, um, I never said I was a good voice actor, nor did I even like shit on the person who was voice acting this character. I just said their, uh, their tone doesn't really match the situation, but hey, that's okay. Also, if you're a game developer, that's not on me to be like, oh, you, you did your own voice acting? Well, I'll, I'll cut you some slack then. No, I'll be like, uh, no, what? No, it does nothing. I haven't tried that. Oh, okay, okay. I'm very sorry then for saying that you're spoiling. Head and face doesn't work? Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, I just gotta be careful because I don't know if that's actually how you do more damage or kill him. And uh, like I said, for this stream, I, for hell, for actually any stream that I'm like playing a new game that I've never played before, I don't want people backseating me or helping me out unless I ask for it, alright? I love when you criticize something, MF will always try to say, oh, let's see you do it. Like, bro, what the fuck? I ain't the. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the one getting paid or making a video game here. I'm just the one playing it. 
Also pay me and I will try to do better. After that uh, fight, I'll be like, <laughs> this would be my voice acting. <sighs> Only one more to go. You gotta be exhausted after that intense fight. You could even say that wasn't good, but at least you could be like, okay, buddy is out of breath after that fight. But no, it was just like, one more to go. Like, come on, man. Dang, the game's so red, you turn into tomato? Literally, right? Bloody screams are real. Or maybe I'm getting so mad that it is turning me into tomato funny enough. FNAF movie coming in 2025? Yay, let's go. Well, yeah, you're definitely right about that before, which is why I always have to expand on my statements. That way, someone's like, yo, you're just shitting on the voice acting. No, no, no. I'm saying, why is the voice acting this way? Oh, this Angel sounds amazing. Oh, even the guy that I like that I already forgot his name sounds pretty good. It's just, there's some weird choices. And bet. I'll make fun of the voice acting in an indie horror game. I'll make fun of it in a AAA game. Watch my playthrough of RE4 Remake and see how much I shed on Ramon Salazar. Oh, great. This guy's back again? <laughs> and we have no weapon to deal with him now. Spawn point is that? <laughs> well, we're, we're goddamn stun locked. We're soft locked. We're stupid locked. I can't even read that. The game has pretty bad spawn points? Well, we can only play in the game designer for that, right? Wait, no, I'm hiding behind this uh, thing. You can't see me. Granted, he should be still upstairs when I respond back, so. You know, this game like the back of your hand? How many times did you have to play that to, uh, to say that statement, though? That's a real question. I doubt you knew everywhere you had to go on your first playthrough. Five hundred times? Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I guess that's the difference between you and me right now, right? I don't know where I'm going because this is my first playthrough ever. You know exactly where to go because you played it more than four hundred and ninety-nine times, so okay. Kinda unfair to uh, have that statement, but uh, hey, you know what? Everyone's a critic. That's like me saying I know security reach like the back of my hand. It's like, yeah, no shit. You can conquer even your biggest challenges. You just have to believe in yourself and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop right there. I can only do so many takes of this trash a day. And tell the guy you're writing, I'm more use of the word dreaming in every message. Keep railing on that, dead, dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slop. But I just stated it though, of course, and I'm not, uh, I'm not disrespecting your statement, but I'm just making my statement towards your statement now. Yeah? 
You said you know the game like the back of your head, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably because you probably, probably played this game a lot of times. And you're like, yeah, you did. And I'm like, well, yeah, there you go. Alright, the viewer is always right, and uh, you can't uh, have an opinion. Fatality. Yeah, bending the cameraman, we're throwing hands in the cameraman lost. I love that fight too when I first saw it. it it's pretty funny. I'll say that's probably the coolest thing Benny has done all, uh, all game. Decapitation shot, right? Rescue Boris! Boris! Turn back. Not with that noise. It's a funny thing, how so much can fall apart so fast. We never really had control of the studio. Either you were in someone's pocket, or you were putting someone into yours. I just wanted what was promised to me. I just wanted to be beautiful. That's pretty Short interesting. You can understand that. Skeptic. Henry. Art studio, by the way, uh, it, it's an amusement park now, you gotta remember. We're all dying it's been 30 years out. since this guy worked here, so there's been a lot of changes. Did you just enjoy the terror of the drop into hell? Because if that's the case, hang on tight. I've got a surprise. But honestly, it means a lot. Um, all I can say is uh, I don't think, or I hope, this is as good as the other playthroughs that you watch, but uh, I'm a... Uh, I guess you could call me an asshole, and I don't really enjoy the games that other people do, so I've just been doing nothing but trash in this game. I do like the art style, though, and, and the character designs are nice, but when it comes to the gameplay of this game, not really good. But hey, you know what? That's okay. I'm, uh, I'm, ex I'm hopefully, I'm gonna hope that the sequel to this game has better gameplay. Because so far there's more story than gameplay, and... I didn't really write uh, novels about the about the story of this game. That's for sure. <gasps> Boris. Oh no! What has she done to you? Okay, okay. He's actually an enemy. He's actually an enemy. Ah, oh, shut up. You actually made it worse. Yeah. To be fair, though, if we're going to be real honest, 
at that point, Roxy is just Boris, if you think about it, but you're not wrong. This, this attack does remind me of Roxy's charge, but... To be fair, this just reminds me of so many other like video game boss fights that just attack you, run into a wall, and then die. If anything, funny enough, before, this is more so Garador from OGRE4, if you think about it. I'm gonna chase you, Leon! Oh no, my claw stuck to the wall! <laughs> Oi. Now, I'm assuming there's probably a, a, a weapon on the ground that, um, he broke or something, right? I don't know how he got to. Like, literally any, any, like, brute boss fight that charges at you. Hell, you could even say he's the tank from Left 4 Dead, so. I will say, though, at this point, fucking, what, three and a half hours into the stream, I'll take a knockoff of anything over nothing at this point, so. Maybe you make a weapon with this over here. Yeah, now we gotta find the goo. Boris, we can't go under it. We can't go over it. Oh no, we have to go through it. Hey, I mean, Bar Boris is a charger right now, so. I will say, though, that he sounds more like a bear than, uh, than a wolf, but I don't know. It's been a while since, uh... I watched National Geographic, maybe things have changed. Ah, uh, it sometimes does that from time to time. I will say the music's pretty good for what's happening. You know me, I love my classical music. the bone though. Grab the bone. I think I would go for the bone, right? Ooh, that was a good pun for us. Goddamn. Thank you for that before. I haven't, I haven't looked at the message, but yeah. I will say it's kind of weird if you say, oh, I like watching new streamers play Benny in the Ink Machine, and then you tell them how to complete sections. At that point, it sounds like you like backseating and helping, or playing Benny in the Ink Machine for other people. I hope I wanted to in non-VR mode is good, same here. I don't know, I, I trust my moderator, so... Uh... You probably did say something that is in that long vein, though. So you can only punch him once before, uh, the shit breaks. That's not good. 
Woo! Uh, I was grabbing the pipe though. Right, and it actually killed me, so I do like that. Would you like to go to the nurse? You're bleeding all over my classroom. Uh oh. Okay, you see, the bone will not do anything? Why, why are you spoiling that for me? Wouldn't it be funnier if the streamer spends like five minutes trying to figure out what the fuck the bone does and then the streamer realizes, oh, I'm an idiot, the bone does nothing, instead of you taking away from that moment? And then the whole place just respawns everything? That's kind of weird. There is, like, a five second stream delay, but also, like, just... I don't know. Why even continue that conversation? I think that you gotta do this boss fight in one go, like without dying, and that might be kind of tough. That attack is kind of annoying. Like that shit always hits me 100% of the time. The ones I've used, I guess I would only be, um, ah, oh, fuck me. Uh, plunger. No, but that is, like, gameplay spoiler, though, is it not? Like, you're lucky someone already spoiled that for me on the last stream, so I already know about the Tommy gun sight and, uh, other weapon, but, uh, yeah. To, to be fair, though, it, this is me be honest, not many people know what the word spoiler means. They usually just think, hey, I, I, I didn't spoil the story, that, therefore I didn't spoil it. Like, eh. Spoiler is telling someone some get. Spoiling is telling someone information about something about the game that they did not know about beforehand, right? That's what a spoiler really is, at the end of the day. So I gotta make sure I don't die by this fucking thing. Plunger sucks? Only if you're a noob. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. 
I like phones here. The worst part is I was actually enjoying that fight. It was getting better, and then he died. It's interesting how they give you two boss fights in this chapter. And uh, the Boris one was way better than the Amusement Park one. And then, I don't know where it turned into an enemy. Oh my gosh, what does this mean? Map Hat! Map Hat! We need you to make a theory! Chapter 6 isn't gonna come out until 4 months from now, so we need you to make 69 theories as to what's gonna happen next. Alright, um, yeah, I'm just gonna warm up my coffee. Take a take a number bendy in the washroom and then um, I'll be back, alright? And then we'll finish this game and that will be the stream for tonight. This game is PG, well, and it has that. I mean Yeah. If there's no red blood, you can do anything. The last reel. Yeah, uh, put pause and I'll be back. Five's intro is a decent spot for a break. All right, let's go, let's go. Yeah, like I said, uh, BRB. We'll finish this tonight.
I might have to turn on the lights soon. All right, let's continue with the story. Overall, or anyone, how many chapters are in this game? Is five the last one, or is there a sixth one? I know that song. Everyone knows that song. Who are you? Why are you here? I was invited by an old friend, and now I can't leave. Then you know more than we do. One minute, we don't even exist. Okay, thank you very much, Clementine. Just thoughts. And the next minute, this place. Are you gonna let me out of here? Down here, strangers aren't good things. How can we trust you? We don't even know what you are. My name is Henry. I used to work here. I... I honestly don't know my name. So, they call me Alice. But I'm no angel. You go back and rest. We'll talk again later. Is my character actually gonna go back to sleep? Because that would be the dumbest thing ever. Oh my god, he actually goes back to sleep. It's only for a few hours. No need to worry. I won't go far. Only up to level six. Just stay here. Keep an eye on Henry, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise. Also, Steph, thank you, uh, Skepnip. I'd say it's part of the design, so... Bam! Keeping me, uh, safe, huh? Henry? Here. You must be hungry. Sorry. It's all we have. Damn! Wanna get fucked up? I killed your brother, I can kill you too. I know you're watching me. Damn, this is cutscene heavy. It's just... a little creepy. Well, the you're the one that writes on the walls. Right, what do you want to do, just look at the wall? We all do. For some poor souls down here. It's the only way they can be heard. But you don't want to touch the ink for too long. It can claim you. Pull you back. That's how I met Tom. I was messing with things I shouldn't have been, and he... He was there. Why do you call him Tom? He just seems to respond to it. Well, I don't think he's very fond of me. Let me show you something. A while back, I was mapping out one of the upper levels, when I noticed something reflecting off a piece of glass. I held up the glass, looked through, and on the wall behind me was a hidden message. Right there, in plain sight. So, I kept looking, and found more and more messages everywhere in the studio. But you can't see them with your eyes. Only through this. Take a look. I don't know who's leaving them. But I think they know how to get out of here. Where does it all lead to? Nowhere. I followed them for a long time. Just leads me in circles. I don't think I meant to leave this place, Henry. But maybe... You are. Alice. Please let me out of here. Tom thinks you're dangerous. And what do you think? I think you're the hope I've been waiting for. I hope. Go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Alright, I heard that uh, chapter one was made by only two people. And then the more uh, money they, that was got, really the more stupid, they were able Tom. to make a uh, You shouldn't have gone out there. Now that he's seen you, it's only a matter of time before he finds us here. Damn, 
I guess they waited until chapter five to give you all the story, him. right? Not with the ink demon right outside the door. What's going on? He's coming. We have to move on. Tom, we have to let him out. I'm sorry. The Lord. If I see you outside, I'm taking that hatchet and chopping off your head, alright? They changed the storyline of Bendy a bit because of Map Pat? Oh. To be fair, they can only blame themselves, right? Maybe they should have uh, had the story thought out before making one chapter and then hoping for the internet to fill in the holes for uh, the rest of the story, right? So, um, I don't blame MapHat for that, I blame the idiots who made this game. It's inside the vault! Let me out of here, so many questions. Don't go through the door. What door? Follow me. Spoon ink and know the way. Escape. Stars! There's always hope. You draw beautifully. Yeah, because at that point, then every video game got its change lore because of that path. It's kind of weird you can't move with this at the same time. Did we change the end of chapter 5 because of that? Is that confirmed though? Or is that just a theory? A dumb one! Yes! Where did they confirm it? Where's the source? Very clear? I don't know, man. If you don't have a source, you're kind of just making it up now. Okay, man. All I can say is that sounds like you don't have an actual uh, source of credible information to back up your statement, but that's okay. The only way uh, you can say something that will make me believe you is if the creators of this game went on Twitter and made a statement, or just anywhere, just any of the creators made a statement saying, yo, chapter 5 was going to be 100% different, but Map had uh, found out our video game lore months in advance, so we had to change it up. Unless they made that statement, it's kind of just speculation, so. I don't know Clementine. You can probably check uh, their uh, channel and see uh, what other videos they've made since MatPat is gone. But not like, um, not like it's not doing anything. They're still making videos. Yeah, like I said, if if you want me to believe you, then you need it in writing where the developer said, "Yo, this one content creator destroyed our story." Everyone likes to blame MatPat for everything. Follow me.
Like I said, Stepnik, if you don't have a source, then everything you're just saying is just a theory at this point. the barge yeah and uh, one thing I don't like uh, being spread on uh, my channel step neck is misinformation so like I said if you have a credible source to back up your statements then I would love to uh, have uh, a video to watch or a link to take me to there because you know, at this point you're kind of just making up bullshit now I don't want to ever say that a new viewer is making up bullshit, but if, if your source is I told you so, then that's not a good source. Plus, every game changes their story during development. It's not just the indie game thing. Anyways, I'm not here to to talk about what the story could have been. I'm here to see what the story is. So I'm just going to focus on what's happening now and not what could have happened. Can I get on it? If only you could crouch in this game. Sounds like something stuck in the paddle wheel. That's pretty big. How was I supposed to see that shit? Jump scare. I like how I don't have to fix the boat when you die. What the fuck? 
How fast does he want me to destroy the blobs and move though? Apparently supersonic speed. Too slow apparently, Vincent. Apparently. Sounds like an average Honda owner at 5 a.m. have to be so fucking fast to avoid that shit. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no shit, that's all I can say. It's not that it's tough, it's just you gotta be fucking accurate on a controller that doesn't have a reticle. Granted, I removed the reticle so I could put it back on for this part, but goddamn. Fucking work! Oh my god, I'm dead because of this shit. God damn it! This is stupid as fuck. Just put me out of checkpoint, please. Now we always gotta start from the beginning. Maybe I might have to turn on the fucking cross here for a bit. I feel like the same thoughts I had the first time I played this game are the same thoughts I'm gonna get when I finish this game. It has an interesting as fuck world. The characters are cool and unique. But the gameplay and the story are just... Too weird for someone like me to enjoy. Like if it had more story than gameplay, I'd be down with that. But it doesn't have either or. So I really hope the sequel of this game catches those flowers. And I really hate that we have to fucking do this for that. Messing up once. I saw this remade in VR and you could see the hand splash down as you go, right? If anything, you could probably see the hand splash down if I turn the, up the brightness. Yeah, I can kind of see their own way. I really hope so. Because I had really high hopes for this game and they were all shattered, I'll tell you that much. It would be a bigger blow if I paid full price for this game, but I did get it on sale, so that is kind of cool. Nice. Sounds good, man. We're uh, at the last level. I'm doing a part that's very annoying as shit. I got it for like $4.99, this game. And the sequel is on sale for like $5.99, so... 
as long as it has more gameplay than this, I don't think it'll be a loss. And even even if it doesn't, uh, that that's a free platinum trophy for me right there. I know that hand's getting closer and closer. You see, now this is the only tense part of the game because if you die, you got to do this whole part again. Motherfucker. This is the only part in the game that has been scary so far. And it's not scary because of uh, the hand, it's scary because if you die you gotta do this whole shit again, so... Yeah, no, it was very cheap, very cheap. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Let me out of this hole. hole. When Chapter 5 released, they offered it to existence owners completely free? I mean, they better. Yeah, that was very close. But uh, at least we got good, so GG. It's probably the only cool part of this whole game, I will admit that. The scariest part of this game is the fact that your save might not might get messed up. I heard a lot about that, which that's why I want to complete this game in this one stream. That way we don't have to uh, ever deal with that shit. Not monsters. Oh no, he killed me, GG. I thought I was gonna get him stuck in the <laughs> in the door there and just kill him for free. Hey, Sammy Lawrence is still alive. Swing like crazy? Yeah. See, that's what Price should have done to Makarov in Mono for 3. What, why did Price put the knife in Makarov's shoulder? I don't know, he's an idiot. Now, that's what he should have done. GG, Boris. Ooh, you will give me the weapon now? Nice. Oh, that was close. Can I have your samurai sword, though? We were in the neighborhood. Plot armor. Yeah. Was that him? I don't think so. The searchers and the lost ones built this place. Sammy must have been keeping them at bay. Now that he's gone, looks like we're in for a fight. Get ready. Watch out! Here they come! Oh, so I just realized the blob creatures are just knockoff heartless, if you really think about it. They even kind of have similar eyes too. Tell me I'm wrong. This game was inspired by Kingdom Hearts. Well, this is probably the only time where the machine gun would be helpful, and even then, it's not that tough. Bro, your samurai sword is destroying everyone in one hit. Uh oh. Oh. Um.
The real question is, do you start at the beginning of the fight every time you die? No. The thing is, at least for me, adding more enemies to the combat of this game will not make it more appealing or more fun. Because the combat of this game is just slash down. So it's just like, alright, the hardest thing you'll ever have to do is back up and use two slashes at the same time. There's no guard, there's no parry. I guess I could use that to look at them. That walk animation that the big ones have is hilarious. I've never seen this many before. Also, I feel like this part was only put in the game because people were complaining the other chapters had no gameplay. So, they're like, alright, you want gameplay? How about a 5 plus minute segment where you just slash enemies? And it's like, oh, damn. I mean, I can't complain at that point because I did ask for more gameplay, but. Wait, this is the best you can do. Then maybe, maybe they should just go back to making a shorter experience. Oh no, I died three times in this section. I suck. I'm bad at video games. I will say this though, even though the animation works, like it actually is connecting with the enemy, it does make you miss and appreciate janky games like The Force, where the combat actually has some nuance to it. But you never know where it's actually gonna crawl out of next. something a bit more that you're doing other than Probably just... Probably best if we stay together from now right? on. Henry? Think you can lead the way? But someone will play The Force for five minutes and be like, damn, the combat in this game's jank, it's terrible. And then they'll... They'll, they'll pray something like this because it works. Attention, Juju Studios is not interested in the acquiring of new properties that are derivatives of his existing characters. For best pitch, be early for your opponent. Keep pitch under three minutes. Have your pitch be checked ready. Yeah.
You have li you have someone named F. Fontaine. Unless I'm mistaken, the last time I've heard the word Fontaine was in Bioshock, so there's another Bioshock reference for you, funny enough. I don't know what his full name in Bioshock is, but I know Fontaine was there. That puppet guy? What? Interesting. Why did you learn from this game? Well, the first re uh, first time was through osmosis. Like, I'm just chilling on YouTube, and then people are making videos about this new indie horror game called Bin the Ink Machine. I'm like, what is this? It looks like a shitty ripoff of FNAF. Eh. And then I just kept on going throughout my life, probably playing Evil Within 2 that year, because that's what was more important to me. And then I guess a couple of years ago, I was watching some Super Horror Bro Mike uh, theory videos, and um, I saw one from Bendy, and I'm like, well, I'm never going to play this game in my life, so I don't mind watching a theory video or a uh, story explained video on this. And then... Um, I watched it, I'm like, that's pretty interesting, but I still don't think it's interesting enough for me to play it. And then while streaming um, on YouTube and Twitch, some people have asked me if I've ever played it or if I would ever want to play it on stream. I'm like, hey, I mean, I'll play it whenever it goes cheap. And I think that was a couple years of me waiting for it to go cheap, and now it's actually cheap. So, GG. I'll say I'd rather pay $4 for this game than 40 so. One of the only games that I've seen that has rendered text on the wall. Rendered text? What do you mean by that? Immediately is a game developer, he's a gamer, and he's a puppet. I mean... He's the developer of uh, one big game. He is a gamer. Considering how many references to other games I see in this game. And, uh, I don't know about the poop it part. Text is high quality than in other games that have been ported to consoles. Okay. Like the little details that you can read, most games just unrender them so you can't unread them. I mean, this ain't on RE4 Remake, though. That's the thing. Now that's interesting. Pipes? Pipes? Yeah, I was gonna bring up SB, but... When do, I, when do we ever praise SB on this channel, right? I don't know, I'm just thinking like literally any game that actually cares about letting you read the text on the walls, right? Oh, we need the goo. Where's the goo? Oh, now you can open this, right? Always on time. Stay out of sight. I love stealth sections. A small memo to all administration. 
probation offices. Rumors have begun to fly that we simply can't tolerate any longer. The idea that the company is in some form of financial difficulty is untrue, and a slanderous lie against us. It's also been known to me that some backroom incompetents are not trusting in my leadership. As a leader, I'm always steering the boat, guiding our destiny, looking at the big picture. No need for you people to worry about such complicated things. Just do whatever it is you do and trust your leader, which is me. You say that about every part? New players always find this part extremely painful. Oh, oh shit. Rude thinks he's better than anyone. I mean, that's what all bosses usually think, though. It's the lower corridors. We just find out where Poppy Playtime got its lore from. Hi there, monkey man. Pouring demon getting locked up? I mean, you gotta lock it up, otherwise that shit's gonna kill people, though, Clementine. But, I mean, if you kept it unlocked, that would make this a horror game, which it clearly isn't, so... That, 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 that's fine. Poppy Playtime copied Benny? I can see that. That was a log we drew, we learned Joey was Bendy? Is that though? Is it though? Is it though? Because if, if Joey was Bendy, then Joey wouldn't be alive to record that videotape now. Or audio recording. But Joey was alive talking about how the ink demon Bendy looks creepy as shit. So they need to lock it up so no one can see it. So I don't think Joey Drew is Bendy. I could be wrong about that guy. I, I could be wrong about that though, but uh, let me let me know. I mean, wasn't Bendy? Oh, what? Did did people back then think Joy Drew was Bendy? Cause that that actually is a good theory for back in the day, but I guess for now it is kind of just like uh, led to nothing. That audio tape isn't an actual recording. What what's that supposed to mean? Well, here we have to wait until the sequel? What do you mean? I thought uh, the Dark Revival was a reboot remake. It's not a sequel. <clears throat> I'm not going to get too much in depth if you don't want to have the lore spoiled a lot. Well, I mean, I kind of don't. But that's, that's what a first uh, new playthrough is about, right? The, the person playing the game figure it out on their, on their own? Explain to me how a game can be a 
reboot, remake, and a sequel. My mind hurts when you say that. Just just look up Final Fantasy VII Remake, and that's how it can be all three at the same time. True. Yeah. Why would Joey be dead if he told them to lock him up? I always don't believe. I always don't believe Joey is the ink the uh, demon theory. Kind of weird. Maybe we talk about lore on your second playthrough or after you beat Bendy in the Dark Revival. Though mainly Bendy in the Dark Revival. Okay, overall games or any Bendy fan right here right now, you gotta let me know what the fuck is Bendy in the Dark Revival? Is it Bendy in the Ink Machine Part Two, or is it a remake of Bendy in the Ink Machine? You gotta let me know, right? You got you guys are gonna be the end all be all of what B A T D R is, all right? And I'm gonna need an honest answer from you guys. Really? It's a sequel. Okay. They try to put it into sequel. It, it's either a sequel or it's not. That's what it. That's that's what it is. I believe it's a sequel. Okay. So. They tried to put it into a sequel, but they also wanted to use the name as a revival for Bendy. I don't mean to think of it uh, ended up a sequel. It happens after the events of the first game. I mean, the devs kind of denied that it's a sequel. I mean, yeah, it's, it's that shit right there before that makes me go, I don't know what it is. When everyone says it's a sequel, but the developers say it's not a sequel, it's like, you know what, maybe I just don't care. So it like so it's like improved gameplay for Bendy as a sequel. The only reason they don't call it a sequel is because of the main character. No, you know what? Time for a refund, probably. You have to wait and see for yourself and not get too confused until then. You don't understand. You know what I don't understand? You guys can't answer a simple question. That's what I don't understand. I ask, is it a sequel, yes or no? And I get 50% of you saying yes, 50% of you saying no. So you know what? I don't care. You guys don't even know what the fuck it is, so... That's where I'm going to end the, off that uh, question. Consensus series? Uh, not even the fans know what the fuck it is. So, GG's. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't just call you wrong. I called all of the Bendy fans wrong. Shit. Bro, there's nothing to argue about. I'm asking you, is Bendy the Dark Revival a sequel or a remake? And you guys are like, uh... So, if you want to call that an argument, then I just say you don't know how to have a conversation. And that's okay. I'll just ignore it. Hey, what's up, Truly Bot? How you doing? Yeah, exactly. Right when when the when the fans don't even know what to call it, it doesn't give me good hopes for the Dark Revival. But hey, the graphics look good, so. It kind of is, but I mean, I gave you guys a chance. You can't really blame me for that. And you know what? Okay, you know what? At least Skepnik is being truthful. And you know what, Skepnik? I can give you more props and respect than any other Bendy fan in this channel right now. Because you don't even know what to call it. And you know what? That's okay. That's entirely okay. But this is what I mean when I say people don't know what it is. So when a Benny fan doesn't even know what to call it, then that's when I go, I don't know. But hey, at least you're being truthful. At least you're being truthful. It's the people that go, yo, it's a sequel. And I'm like, how, how do you know? And they're like, uh, uh, that I go, okay. So your comment doesn't really mean anything if you don't know what it is.
Revival is in the name, so I'm going with Reboot, right? Reminds me of someone asking a crowd if something was real or fake, then going, great, then half of you are stupid. What? Are you saying I'm being mean to the audience? Vincent, that's kind of sad. to be, say bye yesterday but I was too tired. Hey, no problem at all. No problem at all. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like if 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 we just say we're all confused then we can like try and fix the confusion and get back on track, right? To me at the end of the day, I honestly don't give a shit what B A D B A D T R is. I honestly do not give a single fuck if it's a remake, if it's a prequel, if it's a sequel cuz at the end of the day I'm still going to get in play, all right? I'm just trying to answer a question for before a friend, a moderator, a viewer, uh, a non-Bendy fan who actually has a genuine question as to what is Bendy in the Dark Revival. And when one of you says it's a sequel and one of you says it's a remake, what am I supposed to do but say, I don't know what it is before? The community doesn't even know. So I'm very sorry if, uh, if, it, if, I'm, if I'm an ass, if I'm being mean, but I, I'm just trying to get the information that would clear things up, but I guess no one has that information. And I'm just gonna move on and we'll see what it is once we play it, right? So what the hell is even this section? Find the missing pipes? Fuck. You've seen me play games that I literally don't give a fuck about, so. I'm just trying to uh, get the information for my viewers. That's all I'm trying to do. Hey, if you love this game and I don't, good for you. If you love the sequel but I don't, good for you as well. At the end of the day, you should enjoy the games that you play, right? Maybe sometime we can get some quests done on Fortnite and you can help me in Team Rumble maybe Friday night on Twitch. I'm down for that, Bot. I'm down for that. Why is it when you literally get one meter close to them, they don't care? And when I play, they spot me from a mile away. I will say this, uh, Skepnik, if this is your first time watching my stream, there's a weird and scary habit of, like, games glitching on me, and the most absurd, dumbest things happen to me that other players do not encounter, so. This whole section could just be glitched, and I could just be doing this uh, wrong unintentionally, but hey, you know what, that, that makes viewers like you go, hey, like, hey, that's not supposed to happen, and I go, hey, um, GG's? I'm gonna keep on doing this now. Yeah, truly, but I can help you out with that when I, uh, when I have time. I have to do some quests in Fort as well. Or oh, you're good at stealth? That would be funny, Clementine. That actually would be hilarious. Imagine the guy who hates stealth games is actually, like, somewhat decent at them. Or the game says, okay, we're going to make it easier for you because you suck at stealth games. I mean, they also have to have eye contact. You're right, because these creatures don't have ears at all to hear my footsteps beside them. Right, Oberro Games? We're, we're fighting clickers. Actually, no, even clickers have better eyesight than these fucks, and those clickers are blind. If anything, I'm trying to find out where the goddamn pipes are. That's bullshit. I think the first announcements through 2019 called Revival, not a sequel or prequel. Though around release, I believe that they may officially got called a sequel. And yeah, the game is mostly that. Okay, thank you, Vincent Morris. You see, now that is an in-depth explanation as to what it is. And that actually could explain why 
there's many different terms for the game because when it was coming out people were or the developers were calling it something else and then when it eventually did come out it got called something entirely different right so i thank you for that vincent morris that actually might clear up a lot of confusion that i was having with um with that game what are we talking about uh probably the dumbest thing you can think of But the lore and plot can also explain if it is a sequel. I'm not gonna lie, the lore and plot of this game is kind of trash. If you need a sequel to explain what happens in the first game, then maybe it's not a good game. Hey, there's easy games. How you doing? Need a hint? No, thank you. I'll say this another thing, Skepnik, uh, considering you're new on this channel. Uh, the lore, graphics, and story of a video game are probably the last things I care about when I play a video game. You're asking this stubborn MF that will sit for hours doing a puzzle if he needs a hint? Yeah. There's an achievement for getting through the section without getting seen. I doubt I tried for it. I'll, I'll try for it, Vincent. I love uh, getting platinum trophies. Favorite character in this game? Mine's uh, Ink Demon. He's pretty cool. I mean, he is cool, although he's kind of like William Apton in Security Breach, where you only see him for like five seconds and then he's gone. So I will say that. Peanuts and baseball go well together? Of course they do. Oh, fuck me. All the peanuts are got it. They are. But for me, Clementine, it would be um, the the character that always says, "I'm out of here." I think that was actually my favorite character in this game. No memes. Also, I have a weird feeling that you gotta kill these fucks. Like you gotta lead them into um, one of those like I don't know, rooms with the drains, and somehow you gotta like kill them or push them in there. I thought, well, I mean, it depends which ending you go for. Is that a hint I hear? Well, I can't move. Oh, I forgot about this thing. I uh, know it, it's not going to be a no multiverses game. It's the original multiverses game is coming back. It should be going online uh, sometime in May, so that's going to be fun. Maybe you have to use this in Joy Drew's uh, room. Go on vacation in me? Yeah, let's go.
Let's go to Joy Drew room and see if we can um, grab a weapon in there. Find the missing pipes. I'll screw you. I'm a dip, it's 4 a.m. Hey, no problem at all. It's uh, like 11.06 p.m. for me. Have yourself a great night, and I thank you very much for stopping by, all right? Hope yourself, I hope you have yourself an amazing uh, night and an even better uh, week, month, and year. Well, at least you know what to do now. I mean, it was always easy. It's get the pipes, but it was the matter of trying to find out where you get the goo to make the pipes. That was the question. And now that we know, it should be easy as shit now. So, T, an I, and then uh, one that's going to the right. Bye, Skepnik! Skepnik, there we go. I guess we'll make the tea right now. Oh no! The Ink Demon's back! Inferno 7. Is it cold where I am? Uh, not really. I just, I'm enjoying the last, uh, I guess, couple of days of um, winter so I can use this coat and then it's back to tank top season on stream. Yay! Well, it's not really a Disney movies that are turning into horror movies. It's more so, um, Copyright free um, properties are starting to turn into uh, horror movies. Yeah, exactly. Is it really the same spot every single time? Granted, I guess someone could see me while I'm making my way back. Yeah, I don't know if you could put it. To be fair, most of those uh, fairy tale movies are, are already horror movies, though. You just gotta read the original versions of the story and not the Disney fied version. <laughs> Steamboat, Steamboat Willie is the original version of Mickey Mouse. Because back then, cartoons were black and white, so Steamboat Willie is like Mickey Mouse version 1. And then the version that you know of him now with the yellow buttons, the red shirt, shorts, uh, and the like human skin face, that, that's, uh, that's modern Mickey. The same way you have classic Sonic and modern Sonic, just imagine Steamboat Willie is a classic Mickey. The new version is um, 
the modern Mickey. Oh, 442, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Inferno 7. Just hope you're having a great night. To all my viewers, whether you're watching this on YouTube Live, if you're watching this on PlayStation Live, or if you're just uh, watching this in the future, hope you're having a great day, night, and always live your best life, right? I just hope you're not watching my uh, playthrough as a guide uh, uh, to how to finish or complete this game. Alright, this far pretty good. It is starting to get late though, so I do want to finish this um, uh, game on the stream. Oh, please don't see me. And if anything, I'll maybe play uh, a second playthrough of this another time, maybe on the weekend, so we can go for a platinum trophy. Like I say, I try to make my first playthrough a like non-trophy uh, playthrough. That way, I can just focus on playing the game and having fun. And then, second playthrough, which is like the trophy playthrough, that's when people can tell me spoilers and stuff that I missed out on, and we can talk about lore and all that shit. Well, that really means a lot, truly, Brian. That's why I got to start playing games that like you enjoy. That way, you'll be able to enjoy those uh, VODs even more. Steamboat Willie is a character, but it's technically the original version of Mickey Mouse. Shit. And I'll probably play some of that uh, after I finish this game on Twitch. How big is this game? Give me a second. The screen's gonna go blue for one second. I just want to see how big this fucking game is. Seven gigs. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I knew I was going to delete this game after I got the Platinum, but now I know 100% I'm going to delete delete this game after I get the Platinum. Even though 7 gigs isn't that much, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, I'd, I'd rather not take anything from it. What's the last Capcom game you enjoyed? I have a feeling it's Monster Hunter World. I mean, technically it would be Resident Evil 4 Remake. Just because I didn't love it as much as the whole entire world doesn't mean I hated it. Just, um, they obviously don't love it as much as the original one, right? So, I would probably say that was the last uh, Capcom game I enjoyed. But I guess the last Capcom game that I love, loved, it actually might be RE3 Remake. Only for the fucking Hunters, too. <laughs> well, that means a lot, Clementine. That's why, no matter even if I don't enjoy game, I, I do need to finish it, that way I can at least have a full playthrough of that game, right? I know you said many, um, pipes and problems. I know you posted a lot of comments on my first, um, Bendy stream saying that, uh, I should just skip this and go to the sequel. And you, you are right, but uh, as a gamer and as someone that does care about what my audience thinks and says, you guys have been wanting me to play this for a while and I owe it to you all to give this game a fair shot and at least played all the way through. Would you play RE9 if it came out? RE9 can be the worst looking game of all time. As a Resident Evil fan, I'm already I'm already gonna pre-order and play it. So the answer is yes. But it's it's a, it's a yes, but it's a I I I'm gonna hate myself for playing it, but I have to because I'm a Resident Evil fan. So it, it's the same answer OG FNAF players are gonna say when the next. FNAF game comes out. They, they can be like, yo, I'm not playing any other FNAF games after Security Reach, but hey, there's still going to be a FNAF game no matter what. So. 
Originals are mostly better for video games? Yes and no. Like, y there are improvements you can make in a sequel or remake. And we'll see them in Bending the Dark Revival, but... Um... Some things are so good that... They'll carry forward to the remakes, right? Uh-oh, what's Looks that? Looks like whatever was here was taken long ago. How did you get down here? It pays to carry a rope. You should try it. Alright, I should just already make my re uh, review for RE9 right now. It's, it's terrible, it's crap. All the we classic characters are crap. I'm going after him. You wanna go to his lair? Are you crazy? That's death. That's where the trail seems to lead. <sighs> well, it's probably close by. Probably through that door. And nothing not wrong with that, uh, Clementine. I'll need three gears, a crowbar, some kind of counterbalance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that works too. Okay, you know what? I guess. I gotta give this game at least a 10 out of 10 for that joke. That was that was funny. That was funny. I was already in my head being like, bruh, was there a gear that I could make with that machine? Also, counterbalance? Where am I gonna find that shit? Boris is like, nah, fuck this. Psh, let's finish this fucking stream right here, right now. I, I, I'll I give it that. That, that. That's how you set first expectations. Granted, they probably also did that too because they would have to make more rooms too get these items, so they said fuck that. I love Lonely Angel. Yo, I love this version of Boris the Wolf. He doesn't fuck around. But hey, all I can say before is that at the end of the day, Capcom doesn't give a shit if I like it or not. They just care about how much money I give them. I've wasted so much time in this chair. You already said that before. What? That's so weird. See, like, this creature would actually be scarier cool looking if it had a better design. No offense to anyone that likes this, the Ink Demon, but like, why, why does he only have one glove? Why is one foot bigger than the other? Why is his, his proportions just weird? Why couldn't it be that bendy that's chasing after us? I don't know. I'm also not gonna lie, he almost kind of has a Xenomorph. Um, aesthetic to it. The spines on the back, the black body, the s noises it makes. Yeah, now that... Th whoever made this game was inspired by Alien Isolation. I'm just gonna call it out as it is. Ink Demon's a shittier version of the Xenomorph. Tell me I'm wrong. Wow. I've never seen this before. I don't see any way around. Nothing to build a raft with. We'll have to wait across. We can't. We're not like you, Henry. If we go in there, well... Is Bendy supposed to be a horror game? I'm not familiar with it. Funny enough, I thought it was a horror game, but it seems to be more of a... It's more of a survival uh, story game, if I'm going to be honest. A Nothing wrong with water that. water in the ocean is rarely seen again. And I guess it's all up to me. And I don't even know what I'm doing here. Me neither. I don't even know why this is all happening to me. You're here for a reason, Henry. There's always a reason. Even when you can't understand it. It's time. Funny enough, she kind of reminds me of the, uh, the woman from the Nightmare Before Christmas. The aesthetic. Bendy had one or two designs before Chapter 4. Also, you aren't wrong about the Xenomorph thing. I mean, considering how many other things Buddy was inspired by to make this game, I would not be inspired. I would not be surprised if he was inspired by the Xenomorph to create a Bendy. So we're running out of lights. Running out of light. Also, you don't see secret hit messages until uh, the second playthrough of this game, right? I don't know, it's just kind of sad that this story-driven game was kind of making up its story as it went around. 
Who's the worst company that makes video games? Uh, hmm, that's a toughie. Maybe. Can't really think of any other company right now. Probably. Oh my gosh. Bandy Bridges? So it'd be cool if the game started out with a full episode of one of these cartoons so we kind of like know who the Butcher Gang are and if Boris and ben, uh, Bendy are friends or not and how Alice Angel ties into all of this. It's just cryptic as shit. It's simply awe-inspiring what one can accomplish with their own hands. A lump of clay can turn to me if you strangle it with enough enthusiasm. Look what we built. We created life itself, Henry. Not just on a silver screen, but in the hearts of those we entertain with our fancy moving pictures. But when the tickets stopped selling, when the next big thing came along, only the monsters remained. Shadows of the past. But you can save them, Henry. You can peel it all away. You see, there's only one thing Bindi has never known. He was there for his beginning. But he's never seen the end. The end. Heck, even it's snarling is even more fast. Oh no, it's got big hands. Oh no. It skipped leg day. And then we died. Oh no, it's the chicken boss right from Dead Space 2. So original. Ow. All arms, no legs. Buddy has the Larry the Lobster workout. Also, I, I greatly appreciate and thank you for not uh, spoiling those secret messages, Vincent Morris, alright? If anything, when we have the second playthrough, or third, whatever you want to call it, the second playthrough, or New Game Plus playthrough, if you love this game, you can uh, tell me what those secrets are, alright? The boss fight is literally just avoid getting run over by this fuck. So my only uh, piece of advice for you would be to just hug the wall. Because this guy seems to be a... Uh... oh shit. I went in the middle when he was crossing. Look both ways before crossing the street! What would you do if you worked at Joy Drew Studios? Well, considering you, like, turn into the cartoon that you're working on, I would probably make the greatest cartoon character of all time, and then make sure Joy Drew turns me into that. Yeah, so I was gonna say the best thing you could do is just hug the ball.
I might be going the wrong way. Wow. Wait, what? Oh, I guess that was the right way. Okay. I, I thought I had more levers to press. That was kind of weird. I'm gonna lie. Like, if Bendy wanted me to die, he would destroy that thing right there. Maybe you're not supposed to be here yet? Funny enough, there's an alien like this. Uh, it's called a charger. It just runs at you like that. Oh, that was easy. No sense if he well, I mean technically he's not running with his legs, he's running with his arms, so that makes some sense. I was gonna say if Vice skipped leg day he wouldn't be able to run around this fast. He does kinda remind me of the jockey from uh, Leopard Dead though with the big arms and shit. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, at this point, Boris has been the best boss fight in this game. Look at your movie! kill him there he's a demonic ink monster why did showing him like the ending of his cartoon end him that kind of makes zero sense hey look color we are a human what you tell me we we're we were a human being the whole entire time could have fucking proved me wrong i heard his ego yeah. They, they <laughs> Someone needs to like Photoshop the Bendy NFTs on that screen, and then Bendy's gonna be like, "Oh no, this is what I turned into." Time to die. Apartment shit. Henry. Dear Mr. Drew, I have to say it was a big surprise getting a letter from you after all these years. I'm surprised you even remember me from back in the old days at the studio. I mostly just swept up the place. I'm doing good here in Florida. Lots of sun for me and the missus. Hope you're doing good too. 
Sorry to hear about the studio closing down. You all made some great little cartoons there. They was good for some laughs. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. The grandkids want to hit the beach, so I'm out of here, Wally Franks. Hey, Wally made it out alive. GG. My favorite character ever. Many of these, I thought it was Poppy. Uh, they were busy working on books and movies instead of making the Dark Revival, something that people have probably wanted more than books and movies, which the movie's not even out, so they wasted their time with that. So I'm very sorry, Vincent Morris, that I mistook this game for Poppy Playtime NFTs, but uh, yeah, no, the point still stands. They probably should have been working on the game instead of other bullshit like books. But hey, that's uh, the difference between a video game that cares about its audience and wants to make more video games and a uh, property that sees money or blood in the water and like, yo, we gotta make as much money as we can from this shit. So I'm very sorry about that. Joy, sorry it's been quite a while since my last letter. Been busy with work at Arcade Films. The studio ordered another sequel, so one have been. So I have been spending many hours in the recording booth again. It's fun though. Um, Tom is doing good. Thanks for asking. He's always tinkering on something. Mostly, he's still upset about someone stealing one of his dusty inventions from your old studio. He'll get over it. Have a good new year, Joey. I'll send you another recipe soon. Warmer regards, Allison Connor. Bill 203. Wally Franks made it? Yes. Warrior Cats? Hey, let's go. Anything else we can read from here? Any more lore? Bendy Land was made. a pentagram right there. I really wish I could read this one down here. Oh. Shotgun? Or I wish you had a shotgun. Interesting. I know, I know. They want my attention, so let's go give it to them. Henry! So soon! I didn't expect you for another hour yet. Now you're just trying to impress me. But I know, I know, you have questions. You always do. The only important question is this. Who are we, Henry? I thought I knew who I was, but the success starved me. Nothing left but lines on a page. In the end, we followed two different roads of our own making. You, a lovely family. Me, a crooked empire. And my road burned. I let our creations become my life. The truth is, you were always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. He even looks like Andrew Ryan you from Power Shock. You pushed a little harder. Henry! Come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Oh my god! It ends where it begins! Yay! And that was Bendy in the Ink Machine! Alright guys, what do you think of it? Yeah, that was it. That was it. Don't worry, there's, there's a bit more to talk about, but... Um, let's just finish watching this and then we can answer any questions that people have.
Cause, uh, the game definitely doesn't give you fucking answers. You gotta watch Map Hat's video to figure out this shit. I knew it! I knew it! I'm like, buddy, sounds like Jack fucking Septicai. It was him. That's funny. Okay. So, buddy could get YouTubers to do voices in this game, but couldn't get a different voice for, like, the main character? No. Oh. After credits scene. Is that the ink machine? Congratulations on your success. Your best pal, Henry Stein. Tell me another one, Uncle Joey. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> I want to bring it up on the first stream, I'm like, Buddy sounds like that one YouTuber that did the Irish the Hedgehog voice. And then I noticed that there was no other, hey, Ky Kyle Allen music? And then yeah, I noticed JT music? What? Oh, that's cute. Wait, I'm like, yo, this guy only has, like, one voice recording in the whole entire game. That's kind of weird. Super Horror Bros explain it better, in my opinion? Well, that's what I mean, like, just YouTubers in general have to explain what this game's about, because this game definitely doesn't tell you anything. The main point is, the fact that you gotta watch a YouTuber to understand what happens in this game kinda tells you that this has a bad story. The funny thing is, the fans of this game will say I'm wrong because I wasn't paying attention. Like, no destruction, you gotta finish this game like 500 times and then you'll understand what the story is. I thought that that logo is better than anything that was in this game. You have unlocked the seeing tool in all previous chapters, yay! Eh, I still get said more than FNAF? What? Hyper Platinum? You're not wrong about that, Chilipa. I don't even know what that means, Vincent. Now the question is, is you um you gonna plat then you go in revival or revival then platinum? Uh, I think platinum then revival. But I'm not gonna start working on platinum on this stream. Kinda wanna take a break and stuff. Yeah, you might have to uh, explain what you mean there, Vincent. When the unique machine began when the developer slash cartoonist known as the Meatly experimented with bringing a sketch 2D style into a 3D world. After turning the idea into a horror game, um, definitely not that, chapter one of the game was created in a little under a week with programmer slash friend Mike Mood and released on February 10th in 2017. Much to their surprise, it stuck a chord with global indie gamers almost overnight. The Meatly and Mike Mood decided to drop all of their projects to work on Bendy and tell a most unique ink story. The entire game was completed a chapter at a time in a year and a half by a small but dedicated group of indie developers. Although the concept and story remained as originally intended, the game changed over development as characters and models were refined from their early thrown together versions. This archive is a peek behind the scenes at that process.
I can see that. I truly buy it. Yeah, I definitely have time. Especially if I get the platinum for this game tonight, right? They're better to do when, uh, when you have a, a team. Henry Stein. Once an equal business partner of Joy Drew, Henry Stein was a talented animator and character designer until leaving the company around 1930s. His place in Joy Drew's his studio's history is somewhat undocumented, but he is often rumored to be the true creator behind many of the studio's most memorable characters. Why couldn't he tell us this in the main game? This small piece of text tells you more about Harry, Henry Stein than the whole six hours of the game does. That's why you call bad storytelling. Original Ink Machine! Before a major visual upgrade, this version of the Ink Machine was the one used in the game. Much of this machine's iconic fan love design was translated into the final version. I guess. Concept Bendy, yo. Concept Bendy is already a better look than Ink Demon. It's so good, I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom looked at this and said, this is what the IV's gotta look like. <laughs> this is the first version of Bendy ever molded. In the earliest concepts, Bendy was much smaller and cuter. Was a face that split open to reveal a terrifying mouth? Yeah, I, I like this version of Bendy more. Alpha Bendy. This is the original game used design of Ink Bendy from the earliest version of Chapter 1. It is jokingly referred to as bird poop with a smile among the development team. I guess. Beta Bendy. This was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At that time, the game received a major visual upgrade and the title, title character got a new model as well. I do miss when gal uh, games had gallery mode slash dev notes in their games, yes. Or when you didn't have to pay for that shit, right? So no problem at all, truly, but have yourself an amazing one, okay? Ink Bendy. Ink Bendy as we know him today. Although similar to Beta Bendy, this upgraded version was remodeled, enhanced with a higher polygon count, and given new ink effects. Oh my gosh. Beast Bendy. Ink Bendy's horrific final form in Chapter 5 pulled away from the cartoon facade, facade and revealed the demon within. Beta Searcher. Early in development with just a few weeks to create Chapter 2, the Beta Searchers were designed in record time before being fully retooled later on. They were the first fighting enemies encountered in the game. Their main selling point in the in the version is the graphics. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're like, yo, the difference between this version and this version is this version has shit ink graphics, but this one, look, do you see how the ink goes over the teeth? Therefore, way better than the old version. But you, you, you know it's always going to be the graphics they towed around. And sadly, you know, the kids are always going to care about more about the graphics than anything else. So. I was going to say, am I stuck? Final Searcher. The ink bendy smile it also vibrated? Yeah, but you're only gonna notice that if you're looking at his teeth and mouth. The final searchers were far more robust in appearance. They were smoother with better ink effects and a more human appearance. Uh, sure? Beta Sammy. With his first appearance in Chapter 2, fan favorite Sammy Lawrence became a terrifyingly entertaining character. When his slim build was deemed not threatening enough, he was redesigned and given a better skill to rig for more advanced animation. They, they, they just made him more tough, which to me doesn't make him scarier. Final Sammy! Sammy Lawrence's final form came complete with a bulked up stature. 
and more powerful limbs. The mad songwriter may finally get noticed now, at least by fans. Cthulhu creature? Like, if anything, it would actually be scarier if you saw the eyes on these creatures instead of them being glowing like that. Evil Alice. Good Alice. Tom. Beta Boris. Papa was the original name of the character that eventually became Boris the Wolf. This early version was released with Chapter 1. He was quickly refined into the Boris we know today with the release of Chapter 2. That's cool. Boris the Wolf. Boris the Wolf, a friend to the end, was designed using various references from cartoons of the 1920s. A blend of West Coast and East Coast animation styles, this silent and supportive wolf won over the hearts of many. Although at times he was a headache for the development team due to his AI, AI, AI taking on a mind of its own during production. Oh, that's scary. That's scary right there. Brute Boris! Alice Angel's monstrosity, Brute Boris, was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter 4. His design was roughly based on the Frankenstein monster. Frankenstein monster, but... With a more unfinished appearance, Alice took parts from within him and substituted things that his body is rapidly rejecting. The Butcher Gang, the Piper, Striker, and Fisher make up the dreaded Butcher Gang. Interestingly, the incorrupted versions of the characters were designed first and then were reverse engineered back into their more fam family friendly cartoon forms. Interesting. Carousel Boss. That's it? Oh. I thought they would give us more. Hey, right, that's cute. That's the evening question. I wonder if continue puts me in chapter five, or I have to select chapter one to uh, start new game plus. Yeah, hey, this should be new game plus. All right, Joey, I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you want. And now that we have, and this is this is why I wouldn't mind doing a second playthrough of it, even though I don't think it's going to change my initial opinions on this game. You get more lore and story, and I, 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 if I was a game designer, I wouldn't do this unless I'm trying to get a specific amount of players' engagement. Like, oh, I need to show the company that like 69 hours were played by gamers in this game. So I, I would not make lore a part of the second playthrough, but in this game, it is. So now that you have this, you can see messages that were always there, but you didn't see them because you had this. The device in Revelations? You're not wrong. Funny enough, it probably could have been uh, inspired by that. Shall we commence with messages? If anything, Vincent, maybe uh, tomorrow. Just because it's 11.49 and we've been streaming for this for 5 hours and 20 minutes. And I kind of just want to, like, chillax for a bit. But if anything, this is where we can talk spoilers and lore. So before, if you have any questions about this game or anyone else, I'll try my best to answer it. And we'll talk more lore about this game later on. But I will say... The game itself doesn't really explain the lore. You do have to watch videos to understand the lore, but... All you have to know is, this is essentially a purgatory story. Where the beginning is the end. When you finish this game, you're always going to get sent back to the beginning because that's this game. That's why you see all these tally marks, because that's the amount of times that we've been through this loop. And if it starts sounding similar to other video game story, then it's like, yeah. yeah I, not really original at that point. Wonder who wrote those messages uh, that um, that only the see that requires a seeing tool? Our character, Henry. Uh, Henry did all this. Henry's trying to tell us to turn back now. He's saying this is how many times we've been through this loop, and that he's sorry that we're gonna keep on doing this. 
Don't turn on the machine. It would be cool if your character said something different while you went through these areas again, but sadly not. It being Henry might be the bunks. Well, I'll, I actually would love to hear what the most recent theory about this is. Joey drew nothing. Get it, Joey drew nothing. Hey there, coaster guy. How you doing? He was born here. Looks like they knocked out a wall or two after I left. Guess it took a few people to replace me. I'm sorry, character has amnesia because he doesn't remember any of this shit. Oh, there's one right there. Can I get a little privacy? Okay, you see, that's that's funny. That's cute. Are you going to pass out? Hey, no, oh, that sounds good. That means uh, I'm probably just going to... So, well, I, I'm gonna stay awake, but I won't have the stream on Twitch then. Um, yeah, message me tomorrow when you wake up, and we'll try to have an early stream tomorrow, right? So. Hey, my sleep, my sleep schedule is also fracked up too, so don't worry about that. But yeah, we are gonna end it here, so... Actually, there's no auto save in this game, is there? Actually, I don't care. I'm just gonna end it here. Need a break. I need to, uh... Yeah, I need, need to get some air, so. If anything, let me see how many trophies I have left so I can tell you guys. I got 11 out of 26 trophies. So the only trophies I require, and I'm going to say them right now, is find all the hidden radios in the game, listen to all the audio logs in the game, bathe in violence, take a longer walk, find out where you belong, complete chapter 4 with a plunger. Yo, that sounds funny as shit. Um, take a photo at the photo cutout? Hey! I, I know where that is. Listen to the Henry Auto log. Interesting. Play with 25 Bendy dolls. Interesting. Unleash the Tommy gun. Choose the way of the Bendy. Get all the Bendies on stage. Um, collect all the bacon soup in the game. Get a perfect score on the Bullseye Bonanza. And Master of Ink. You are a true Master of Ink. So, If anything, I'm going to take a break and I'm probably going to knock some of these uh, trophies out on my own. And once I have like one or two trophies left, then I'm going to stream back on YouTube and we'll do a quick second playthrough of getting the final trophies as well as um, seeing all the secrets that I may have missed out, all right? So hopefully, uh, you know, most of these achievements, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to get Platinum, Vincent. And hopefully uh, you'll be there when I do my next stream so you can help us um, figure out where all the secrets are, all right? But you know what? I'm still going to end it the same way I started it, with uh, with the praise that I had for this game, which was, I enjoy the, the aesthetic of this game, the characters do look pretty cool, some of them are actually pretty creepy. The Butcher Gang is probably the creepiest uh, designs in the whole entire game, if you gotta ask me. And I do see a blueprint as to how this game can actually be scary. Now is the second game scary? I don't know. It might actually be more action... Uh, oriented compared to being a hard game but hey we'll, we'll find out when we play it if anything at least the graphics should be good for the next game but you know what it's it's, it's... i'm always uh, gonna give a game a try and at least for four dollars or 4.99 it's not a waste of uh, money it's, it's when you buy the full price then i would be like hey because i don't know no no, no game is worth only like three to four hours of gameplay time, right? Granted, we spent five and a half hours on here and then technically three and a half on the previous stream, so that's well, that's almost like 10 hours right there of uh, game time. But uh, yeah, well, we're gonna end it right here. People believe it's something else, but I believe Henry wrote those messages as a reminder that he's in a loop. That's what I think too, but I'm, I'm now that I finished the game, I can watch some more story lore videos and i'll see what i can um come up with next time we play this all right so we're just gonna end it here so i would like to thank each 
and every one of you amazing destroyers and new lurking viewers for stopping by today tonight. You have been watching I Am Destruction with the PlayStation 4 version of Bendy and the Ink Machine. <laughs> yes, 100% Clementine. 100%. But you're all destroyers, therefore, you are destruction. And when we team up with each other, we are destruction. So have an amazing day, night, week, weekend, month, and 2024 year. But until next time, have a good one. Wow. <gasps> Take care, Clementine, Vincent Morris, Unbanned, Royal KOP, Overworld Games, Truly Bought. Dusko, Magic Eye, Skepnik, and that's all I can see for now, so... Take care. Hopefully tomorrow we um, either get Platinum on this game or maybe we even start uh, the Dark Revival. If not, we just play Fortnite all day, alright? So. Take care, Mr. Hakeem. And until next time, live your best life and wahoo. Take care, everyone. I always enjoy talking with each and every one of you. And I really appreciate all the help you give. For the gameplay, the lore, and just being chill, amazing people that I love interacting with. So until we meet again, Vincent Morris, live your best life.